That's just the THX logo. A little much for a daytime street. I thought maybe opening it would be better, but uh, no, I, uh, I'm not playing it because of the war. I'm playing it because they announced a fallout show, but but then the are, Lord... TV? are we on or no? Yes, we are. I have no idea. <laughs> oh, hey, guys. Okay, good to know. Good to know. I, that's, I was trying to tell you. I was like, we're on. Why are you in words? No, Sam did. Sam was doing this during Timmy's whole long. Well, I wanted to, I wanted to hear some unfiltered Timmy. I wanted chat to hear some spiel. unfiltered like 30 Timmy. seconds. I'm already done. I'm leaving. Goodbye. Wow. Chat always gets unfiltered. Timmy. He's always unfiltered. Skip. <laughs> we need to have like physical skip like uh objects you know? Every, everyone needs to make their own skip thing that you that you hold up like, or like a big red graphic comes over oh, your screen one. and it goes I skip i could i could make a skip graphic this will be my when i'll just this is my this is tucker's band i'll just hold his sticker up when it's when that's my oh, that's skip. awesome this is my like that. a cool logo it got a little pig dick, dude, a little pig dick. Oh, a pig dick. Yeah. What is yeah. that, someone's band? It's Tucker's band, is that what you said? Tucker's band, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna hold up my, my frog statue. So. I don't, uh, I don't I'm not gonna cool. skip anybody, though. Uh, all right, let me pull up all my shit so I can see what people are saying. How are you guys? Timmy, how are you playing Fallout 4 when Elden Ring came out? I don't like hard games, and I uh, I'm not gonna. Exactly. Not game. hard. Yeah. Yeah, not to you because you beat Souls and all that shit. I dude, the the few times I've tried to play those games, it's just not my not my thing. Yeah, I don't think they're, I don't think they're chill enough for me. You know, I, I, well, I got, it's more chill. It I is. swear to you, it? it's different. I, I've heard that because it's <laughs> it's open world, right? Yeah, it's it's not it's not as hard. There we go. Now I can read what everyone's saying. What's up, everybody? Okay, I think I, I am probably going to try it, but I just haven't gotten around to getting it. So, so, yeah. um, so today, uh, uh, I know, like usually we go for like two hours, and uh, I was talking to Savan, who runs um, the who's directing the movie, the Mars movie. He runs the movie. He, he runs, runs the movie. movie. No, He's but the boss of the movie. <laughs> He also he also does uh, 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 channel one on one stuff, and he's running that Twitch stream. And so oh. I was like, "Which they're doing that tonight?" So at the end of this stream, I'm probably just going to play some Elden Ring on stream until oh. we can throw it over to channel one on one. Oh, that's a good idea. So Zach, if you want to join, I do, I do. So people are already asking me why have I not been streaming Elden Ring? Okay, so. I didn't get, I had like the busiest day ever yesterday. I didn't get free until like the evening and I was so tired. I didn't have, I didn't have it in me to like hook everything up in here. And then streaming a video game, I don't know if you guys feel this way. I wonder if you do, but to me, streaming a video game is not like as relaxing as just playing a video game. Oh, absolutely. For me, streaming a video game is like sex. It's what, Sam? (laughs) It's like sex. It's like yeah. sex. It takes it out of you. <laughs> Your precious yeah, fluid. You gotta be on. You gotta be ready with the jokes. You gotta have enough yeah. snacks. It's like sex yeah, in like, that a lot of video games. Ready with the jokes. <laughs> what, um, Tim? It's like What's sex that? in that like 99% of the time masturbating's more fun. <laughs> <laughs> I actually think that playing Elden Ring is more fun than masturbating. Um, <laughs> you sold me. I'll get it. It, it really yeah, I've is. I've gotten old. Ron Gina, to answer your question, I'm doing a I'm doing a strength dex because I like to start just like just sword and shield. Uh, I can't yeah. believe no one's skipping, giving me the skip coupon right Wait, now. Wait, what character uh, are you? What character are you? 
I am the uh, the knight. I don't know what it's called, uh, but like the first one, like the most basic bitch. Okay. Like, skip, skip, guy. skip. <laughs> you can't say skip, Darren. You have to have, you a, have, to have a skip card. card. I'm a Hold bandit. Some. I'm a bandit. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Which is Listen, man, I'm not going to skip people when they talk like that because that's what I talk like when people want to skip me. It's just skip. Skip. Talk <laughs> going on. I'm skipping when you're talking about skipping. Uh, I, people think I'm using the wrong mic. Let me check. I I'm a bandit in 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 my game, I, I, which is good like because like when when uh, uh, Ron Gina was was telling me stuff about it, and I was playing through a quarter of Dark Souls, he was like telling me to stack the the um what the 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 what do you call it the um skip not skip. The, not yeah, the, yeah, the, yeah, yeah, skip. not the power. This is the yeah. hardest skip yeah. I could do on you right now. Oh yeah, that's the mic. What do you call it? Long pause. I we can't wait for you to figure out what the what do you call it is. What is it? Stamina. Stamina. You're still doing it, but you've been skipped. <laughs> Your mic's better. Stamina, I'm glad that I'm being skipped by the rules of the a good frog. mic. You know. I'm glad that. So wait, that's Sam. Happening. Talk about the Christian movie that you watched. Oh. Oh, I watched yeah, two I Christian movies, and Ooh. you guys got to hear about these. Uh, one was called In Gramps' Shoes, and it's about an old Christian man. I, I feel bad. Like, I feel like I need to show you guys the highlights from this. Can you? Could, I mean, can, can I do that? Can I, if I do a, a watch room, will you guys jump in? Is it going to be a whole thing? And then Timmy's going to say, welcome back to dads on the internet. And it's going to be, it's going to eat 20 minutes of this stream. Uh, prob probably. It doesn't take you that long to say that. <laughs> uh, <laughs> actually, the, the, we found a, a new way to like share stuff, and it's it's way more reliable. Oh, so, than the Sam, did you watch? Did you watch this whole movie on a stream with yeah. everybody? Yeah. Because oh, I wow. found out. Get this. So Christians make movies. And uh, I didn't know if you knew this. They make movies they're actually and, really good, and they're they're not good enough to get distribution, and so they have to put them on YouTube for free, where anyone can watch sometimes, them. Sometimes whoever is running uh, distribution in my neck of the woods for my theater, sometimes we get one of those in the theater here, like. Oh God. A dude, a dude locally made one that was about football or something. That got put up here. Uh, there's one that was just here. They even had that when that Dinesh D'Souza guy made whatever his late, last Trump propaganda movie was. They ran it here. I was like, you never see movies like that in a the theater. But <laughs> kind of amazing that Trump is like still on Putin's dick. E even like even today, he's like he's yeah. very smart, very smart. He's the shit. He's what the shit on him you know well, like, i mean he's anti he's like if putin is good then biden's bad and he hates biden so it's putin right. must be good you know well and that's why other people are like following him even though it's the fuck it's crazy so dorcas harmel says trump just died could you imagine if this is how we find out <laughs> <laughs> like dorcas harabilis tells us that, that was actually I was uh, a couple weeks ago I was getting ready for trailer boys at, about to do the stream and my brother's like I'm like about to hit the go live button and my brother's like like huh Ivan Reitman just died <laughs> I was like it's not really a great I'm not in a great mood now <laughs> yeah to do your movie stream <laughs> uh, have we talked yeah. about our our Relationship with Ivan Reitman on this stream before? Yeah, you guys I, knew him. That's right. I don't know. I mean, I, I, t I did a little bit that day. I did. Sam and Trevor and I worked with Ivan Reitman for two years in a row on two separate things. First, we were going to reboot Stripes, and we almost got that going. Like, I found out later, like, they were going to green light it, but <sighs> I don't know what happened. But, um,. It's funny, we went, the first time we met him, we went to some diner and had breakfast with him, and we were, like, pitching him all these, like, you know, the new characters for the update of Stripes and how, and before we sat down with him, his executives were like, you, you need to know, Ivan is not, it's not that he's mean, it's just that he 
doesn't mince words and he'll be very direct. And we're like, okay. Yeah. Uh, and so we're pitching all this stuff. We found that he's out like, hard. <laughs> yeah, he's not laughing. I remember. He's just staring at us. He's not laughing. And then he, it goes. He goes, I'll tell you what I hate about this. <laughs> and then goes through, <laughs> goes through characters that he hates and like goes through like plot points that he hates and then ends it with, but I like you guys. Like, like that's some <laughs> consolation. We're like, yeah, of course you like us. We're fucking great. I don't know. Uh, yeah. yeah. No shit you like us, <laughs> dude. <laughs> yeah. And then, uh, and we're, uh, we were like pretty rejected and we got in the car. I think I was in the car with you, right, Zach? And ah. we talked to the executive yeah. on speaker and she was like, that went great. <laughs> <laughs> we're like, what? <laughs> and she was like, yeah, he said he liked you. He's in. He's in. <laughs> that is so funny. If you'll have him, he's in. <laughs> was he like that, though? Was he, like, super direct? And yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, exactly. Yeah. yeah. And then you want to know something crazy. So then, so we'd been working with him. And then we, like, you know, we went into his office and, like, we worked with him a lot. Like, I mean, like, it got to the point where, like, I knew him. Like, yeah. you know, like, we, we were, like, we knew each other. We had like um, a full, I remember this is not the best thing to say, but like uh, uh, we had this one meeting with him where it was me and Zach and Ivan Reitman and this this other guy who was a partner at Ivan Reitman's, but we, we'd never met that guy before. And we're like, hey, this is so-and-so. And the guy was like, like odd, had like an odd presence, but was like, you could tell he kind of knew what he was talking about. It was, just this, it was kind of random. And it was just like, okay, we're working with this guy. Then we get out of the meeting and it's like, oh yeah, that guy used to run Paramount. Right? Was it? Yeah. It was like, Jesus. that guy is like, that guy doesn't need to care about the idea of money for the rest of his life. And, yeah. yeah. That guy, that guy did hire hitmen. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. But anyway, but, so uh, was, like deep weird. into our relationship, I am in Atlanta because Sarah's doing a movie with Jason Reitman, this movie called The Front Runner that she's in. And so we're like going to this hotel where like all the cast and Jason and everyone are like having this big party at night. And who shows up in Atlanta? But but Ivan. And this is like in the middle of our stripes stuff. Like, I think we just sold the show. And now we're like going back and forth with him on notes. So we're like talking to him a lot. And so I go... I go up to him because, like, you know, I'm going to say hi. It'd be weird if I didn't. He's there with his wife. And I'm like, Ivan, hey, man, it's good to see you, dude. And he's like, hey, uh, Carol. <laughs> I don't know what his wife's name was. I'm going to say Carol. He goes, Carol, this is Evan. Uh, Evan. Car I'm like, I'm Zach. Nice to meet you. He's like, uh huh. And like, he didn't even like acknowledge, he like had no fucking idea who I was. <laughs> Like, oh, geez. I, I, I should have been like stripes. I'm writing stripes with you. We know like, like it was the weird, but I guess, you know, you see someone yeah. in a different city. It's fucking strange, but I yeah, I, I, I don't know. I think I've, no it was a really great story though. Guys. I've also done that to you though. Like last week. Yeah. Like, oh, hey, <laughs> like, uh, hey, Evan, the uh, Daniel, <laughs> uh, my favorite thing. And, and Zach wasn't privy to this, but, uh, he just wasn't on this phone call. Not privy. Is that the right phrasing of this? Uh, uh, but like Zach wasn't there yep. for this, but Trevor and I had this Here phone call phone with call. him and it was, we'd, we'd already gotten passed up and we were kind of like doing passes on the script and we were talking to some very high up executives about these passes on the scripts that we were doing, even though like, I mean, these executives were, Ooh, cream of the crop, top tier execs. <laughs> but so anyways, so, uh, they, they get the script. And the idea is that like, now that the, that we've all like gotten the script good to like bring back out again to like, we've like rated it R it, we made it rated R we put some swears in it. Uh, and it's bit like had so many passes. We're all like ready to like just like go and bring it out. And these executives go on the call and they're like, Well, we have some notes. And Ivan comes on and he's like, Do you guys have a place that we're actually pitching this to yet? And they're like, uh, actually, no, but we have notes on what, what you have. And he's like, You know, I think these guys have done a really good job. I think I've done a good job. We've worked on this enough. They're, they're done. They're done doing notes on this. You don't, 
you know, like, and like chewed them out for us. Like, like was like, and so now Trevor and I, and like, like chewed them out. And at the end of it, he's the, the executives are like, yeah, all right, well, we still have these notes. And so we're like, okay, we're listening. And like, it was the most amazing thing where these executives were giving us notes and we, we would be like, I don't know. And they'd be like, oh yeah, yeah, sure, sure. Wow. Boom. <laughs> we're like, for a moment, we had like the, the power of Ivan Reitman. Like, <laughs> you he, like so he like wow. had your guys back. He like stood up for you, huh? That's yeah. pretty cool. Yeah. Darren, Great. someone's asking if you have any sexy UK stories. Oh, geez. I don't know. Um, sexy? Yeah. I yeah. don't think I have any sexy ones. Are there sexy no. people in Britain besides you? That's a good question. <laughs> yeah, I've seen one uh, attractive Elizabeth Hurley. person in the time you've been there, not <laughs> yeah. in your immediate family. <laughs> yeah, Sam, Sam said Elizabeth Hurley, right? She's there. Yeah. She's, she's hot, right? I bet she's not there. I bet she's somewhere else. Yeah, no, right. there's like always the attractive person, and then they like smile, and that one tooth comes out, and you're like, oh, fuck. <laughs> no, that's, that doesn't happen. You know what? I, I always like, you know, of course, everyone knows that stereotype, but I was at like one of my cousins married a British guy, uh, and I was at their wedding, and his mom comes up, and I meet her, and like just the nicest lady, and we're talking for a while. And uh, then, yeah, she smiles, and I'm like, oh, okay. Like, it was, yeah, they're bad, you know? Like really bad. How's the food there, Darren? The food is great, actually. Yeah, I like when I came here. When I did like Europe when I was twenty, uh, the food was absolutely awful. It was terrible. Um, but no, since I've been here, food's been pretty good. No, no complaints. What do you like? Yeah, McDonald's, KFC, curries, <laughs> Wait, curries. curries. Okay. Yeah, uh, dude, curries are fucking insane good here. Really? What's why, the difference? Why? Yeah, I don't oh, know. Yeah. I, I I don't I I think that they had like huge Indian influence like way back when, and they're just, it's just still here, and like people just just season it. It's it's just so good. If you come to England, you have to get a curry. Um, and yeah. they're oh, fucking yeah. spicy as shit. You're like, sweating, and like it's, it's awesome. What is that? that? Indian people are all like, yeah, tell me what to do, Britain. Like, they're just like, bow down for them, right? Uh, Sam, you're on your own on this one. <laughs> yeah, and, and you, know your, uh, you know your mic is on, right? Like, your mic's on? No, they, Indian my people freaking, they freaking love Britain, right? All right, good deal, Sam. <laughs> Darren, those are great cool. skip glasses. Very cool. Yeah. Uh... <laughs> Good idea. Um, I get hat. Like, the I other don't day, how like saying like it's crazy spicy. You eat it and you like break into a sweat and your nose is running. Like that sounds unpleasant. I, I get it, Darren. I, I get it. But the taste is so yeah. good. It's like you can't. You can, you're like you have to keep drinking it, but you're just pouring. It's and then it's you, like shit it's an awesome the feeling. Day, and that's no, good. no. It's not that oh. bad. It's not like you're eating like ghost pepper. No, if you're eating good, if you're eating good spicy stuff, I get the sweats like right here, and it feels like it's like pulling shit out of you. You know what I mean? Like that's what I like when you're eating good. Yeah, I mean like good Indian food. Yeah, for sure does that. Yeah, yeah. yeah it pulls the shit. It's so out funny of you. though. Like uh, the the other day, uh, there was like this banging on my door. And I was, so I, like, I ran down the stairs and I like opened the door and it's like this big, like Rastafarian guy with like this army jacket. <laughs> and I was like, Hey, and he was like, Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm, I'm trying to like, I, I've got, I think these might be photos and then your neighbor. And so I didn't want to bend them and get them all crumpled, you know, shove them through the door. So can, can you give them to her for me? <laughs> I'm like, Sure. <laughs> it's like it's not, not what I expected at all. I want stuff like that to happen. That sounds charming. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, those I are see. the little things. I like that. Polite Ross. They're really big. We don't in, have those here on this hemisphere. <laughs> they're really big into Sundays. So like on Sunday, like you'll be like, or like the dessert. The day. The day of Sunday in mm -hmm. England is like this is the day of rest. It's like, I'll walk on the street and a guy will see me and he'll go, have a lovely Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> They'll actually do that with their arm. I'm like, I will. 
<laughs> is he so by chance is- wearing a nightgown with a cap and has slippers on and giving out presents? He does. To He's got a pipe. Turn me out of the butcher shop, you bitch. <laughs> I'll give you a tuppence. Um, uh, Tom so Lieber. I hung out with Tom Lieber today. He's here in London. Oh, no what? way. Oh, cool. Yeah, yeah. Oh, hi. Yeah, he came over to the house. We That's hung out. Fun. We went out, ate a, ate a British dinner. It was oh, cool. good. All right. Yeah. Uh, I emailed you guys the link to the watch thing. If you guys want to. I joined it. I think. Oh, it what began. email? You're, you're, I joined it. You're, what do you what do I need to do? Do you want me to tell you exactly what email I sent? It to? <laughs> <laughs> All right, I gotta find it. All right, Zach's in. It's just Aaron. Wait, it's they said be somebody said that minute. that Sam, you and Nate watched one of my movies. What does that mean? Is oh, I mean, is that the director of Twenty Twenty Five or in Gramps' shoes that is talking? What? Or did we no, watch? The did you watch one of my one of my movies? The movie Zach, I'm in. Oh, Zach. Zach. Oh, oh. <laughs> I thought someone in chat was saying, "No, did we watch one of your movies?" What? No. Well, you should. They're great. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I can't believe you did. I'm a little. Oh, uh, we watched Zach. a trailer that you were in. The Which one, one with the Topher Grace one. Why'd you watch that? Someone submitted. We did like we didn't realize you were in it. What movie I mean, was the that? Trailer. Yeah. I think for like one second. <laughs> oh, oh, uh, <laughs> oh, Resident Evil. Steve said the guy from 2025. All right. Uh, all right, you guys are all in. I'm in. All right. Yeah. All right. Can the people at home see this? Yeah. All right. This is the whole movie. Yeah, this is the whole movie, and I, I, I'll give you guys the rundown. Hold on. Okay. Uh, so, alright. Hey, Rand. And he left me two years ago. I love it. Water, Amy? I can't hear it. That, that's your problem if you can't hear it. This is, it's going through your browser. Oh, okay. oh Father in heaven. Oh, yeah, there it is. I've been praying for 20 years that my daughter Amy would come back to you, Lord, and let this me guy's do her life a again. a very what good actor. vibrating on the table in front of him? I know, right? I think it's a little, like, like, like butterfly thing. thing. You fucking idiots. <laughs> Yeah, the Bible says that they're not good filmmakers. Makes a heart grow sick. Also, get a lob on this guy. Oh, it's like I'm listening to more room sick. tone than his voice. Oh, the room Please. tone in this is insane. Please touch, touch your life. It's like he's they Come put the mic in the other room or Soon. something. Please. Please. They, oh, they probably God. have uh, the wrong kind of mic, you know, that like isn't right. directional. Oh, right? uh, no shit. Yeah. <laughs> So, so the first opening scene is her c- complaining to the bank. Wait, this is how the movie starts? Is yeah, like this just two people on the phone? Amy. 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 I don't see you in the Bible, Amy. I'm sorry. Daughter, I don't know who this my is. My daughter, Amy? The one I was just praying it's about? Been 20 years since I've heard it. Oh my Amy. god. Oh. Watching your child what videos, the fuck like is that thing on the table? I can't see anything it's else. It's a butterfly. You sound different. Timmy, t- turn it down a little bit on your end. You're causing a little all? bit of a echo. This is amazing. I, I was just praying for you. Seriously? All right. Absolutely. <laughs> I can't tell He's you. jerking off under the table. I can't. All right, so. <laughs> the, it's just amazing, Amy. This is really great. So the guy goes to live with his, uh, his daughter, Amy. What do you think the budget of this movie is? I don't know. Salesman, maybe. What uh, is this kid uh, is smoking? Oh, yeah, it's crazy. Oh, maybe this is what someone yeah, was talking about. I'm guessing it's a about. plot point that that kid's smoking, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it is? Yeah. Oh, totally. They're not going to just have a child smoking and not talk right, about it. I'm yeah, there mistaken. we go. What is he? I am not your grandfather. Nice. I like his outfit. This one looks like my grandson. You're right. <laughs> so. Going for a walk? <laughs> After my four mile run, yeah, I'm gonna walk a little cool down. Four miles? Do you have your calendar with you, Gramps? What is up with this name, Gramps? Well, that's the name Scott Gramps, hold on. If he had something to call you, that would p- uh, hack you off. TJ, <laughs> watch this anymore. This sucks major right, ass, right. dude. Hold on. Uh, I wonder, huh? So basically, 
He bets Maybe these kids that like he can me how fast you he are. can uh, beat him in a race. Oh man, this is where it's gonna get good. Sally. Sally. He goes, beats him in a race, and then says he can do twelve pull-ups. That kid's like, fuck you, Grandpa. Oh, that kid's like, fuck you, Grandpa, the whole movie. Let me try that. Alright, uh... What, do what happens? Tomorrow? Do you want to tomorrow? He, he can't do it. God, he's so fucking hot. Anything happen in this movie? Yeah! Well, well, Mom. Mom. Alright, uh... So... so what do, do mice, mice and cheese have right. to do with a problem, problem if they're good? Alright, what I do you think, Gramps? I want to know that question. You really want to know what I think about Harry Potter? No. <laughs> <laughs> I guess. Yes, sure we did. Okay. Well, I'm sure the Harry <laughs> Potter movies, movies are, extremely are extremely entertaining and very, very well made. Well yeah. But they're yeah. analyzed yeah. the problem. Things oh, that are good they're so the well men are often bad as a god. Jesus Christ. How is the problem that they're good? You ever have a problem with mice? Oh, yeah. Well, when you want to catch mice in a trap, you don't try something yucky for bait. You take something like cheese or peanut butter, something that smells and tastes good, and you just lure them right into that trap. <laughs> what do mice and cheese have to do with Harry Potter? What, are you saying it's a trap or something? No. Harry Potter is the bait. You know, throughout man's history, they've told stories that deal with a <laughs> this common guy's theme. A very good actor, evil. right? And the source of that conflict is a real battle that's been going on for ages between God and the devil. The All right, so that so that was so that was the Harry Potter bit. That's uh, out of nowhere. Nothing really like about Harry Potter was in this movie before. Uh, so basically, the kid's like meets this girl. He's trying to run. His kind of Gramps is a good influence on him, but he's still kind of a dick. Uh, and then, so that's his daughter, who he's been estranged from for twenty years, because she moved in with her future husband before they were married. Uh, yep. <laughs> So he just is, so that's the estranging. And is there a part? I, Chad is saying he grooms his granddaughter. Does that happen? <laughs> yeah, that's kind of like the whole thing is him grooming the granddaughter. Because uh, <laughs> the granddaughter is like the good character, you know, and so she just like loves Gramps the whole time. But um, this is a part where Gramps, uh, where. He's Scott sneaking out to do a drug deal, and Gramps' first question to him is, Hey, Scott, have you learned about slavery in school? <laughs> Boy. Uh, is this what gets us finally banned from Twitch? This Someone in chat just said, does chat get a skip? Yeah. <laughs> yes, they do. This Hold on, wait, we're getting to the good part. Uh, oh. All right. All right, so this is... Finally, like the daughter's like, hey, uh, I have this boyfriend over here uh, who I'm dating a guy and I want him to, to meet you. And the guy is Christian. And this whole scene, Gramps is a dick to him. But also, Scott does the craziest thing I've ever heard, I've ever seen in a movie. Now, he's about to mention a character that is never mentioned before in this movie or again. <laughs> That's cool. That's cool. Yeah, God's, God's at the top, at the of, my top of my priority chart. Is this the boyfriend? Uh, so, so, Scott, Scott, what would you like, would you like, to, talk like to talk about? One of the kids of the, at the high school the high committed, school committed suicide, suicide last week. Last week. <laughs> oh. oh. <laughs> what, what a tragedy. What a tragedy. Yeah. Did you know him? Did you know him? He was he a was she, a and she yeah, yeah, I knew I her. Knew. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Any idea Any why idea she why would take she her would own take life? Apparently she, she wasn't happy. happy. <laughs> you know what? That's no, ridiculous. ridiculous. That everybody everybody, everybody wasn't, wasn't happy. happy. And they talk <laughs> about wait, it. Wait, play, keep playing. I gotta know what you're saying. Yeah, like, the world would be a pretty, pretty empty, empty place. place. 
everybody is unhappy sometimes. It's five. Even Gramps? <laughs> I've had my share of unhappy moments too, kiddo. You know, through the years I've learned that happiness should happiness not should be not the goal be. of All our right. lives. That joy is more important than happiness. Two more things. Two more things from this. No, come on. Are we no, going to want no, two, no. two more things? Hey, someone's saying maybe it's Zach's mic that is echoing. Apparently the audio is not good in there. I haven't... Amy! Oh, that's the old Amy! one? This is the old dad. He comes out of nowhere. Guys, get out of here. Leave us alone. Get out of my way. I just want to talk to your mother. You are in any condition to talk to her except with your fist. I'm not letting you touch her again. <laughs> you can't stop me. Did you want to bet I'm not the little kid that you used to push around anymore in case you had noticed? <laughs> Yes, that's a heartbeat. The uh, it's making it tense. Why don't they show the most important object of the scene? Yeah. Nice move, Gramps. Gramps. Dad. Dad. Gramps. Oh wow. Oh my god. 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 Scott. 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 Please don't talk. Daddy. Are they gonna suck him off? <laughs> <laughs> he's about to make the face as if he's being sucked off. That would be amazing if that was the left turn that this movie took. <laughs> yeah. Watch his suck off face. He's about to do it. Head <laughs> in the front, man. He must have been so uncomfortable. <laughs> Please don't quit on us. You, you always told me not to quit on you, so don't quit on us. I'm not, I'm not quitting these guys. Blood? I just reached. <laughs> the, the editor thought of that. <laughs> oh, okay, good. That is ketchup. Maybe Frank's hot sauce. All right, so oh Graham dies. God. There's like another 20 minutes left to this movie, uh, but. Uh, my favorite Let's part not watch it, is he he wins the race at the end, he gets the girl, and uh, let me see, uh, at the very... Wait, let's see, I think this is it. You know, you and I have come a long way since I met you on the track last summer. Gramps had never challenged me and my friends to a race. You and I might never have met. I mean, you were a jock and I was a mystery in betweener. I didn't want to hang out with the bad crowd, but I couldn't hang out with the cool people. That's before That's we figured, figured out, out there, there are no are cool, cool people. people. Except for those who have love and respect for everyone. Yeah. Amen to that. I mean, hey, maybe next year, I mean, I have I this, mean, idea, I have this that idea that we could make the student make body more body unified, unified by, by ditching, the clicks. ditching the clicks. That sounds like a noble ambition. Yeah, and there's yeah. just one more thing. One more <sighs> I need to organize need to a organize. protest against the Harry Potter series, the library's Halloween promotion of it, just because... That's what Gramps would have wanted me to do. <laughs> that would be interesting. Yeah. <laughs> wow. <laughs> and their their dialogue, all teens talk exactly like this, Yeah, right? I mean, they were able to really catch uh, I mean, That's why I wanted to show you this, is like, they were really able to catch it. <laughs> oh. Clearly <laughs> written by like, a just some yeah. like neighborhood priest, you know? Mm. I remember in, in my youth group when I was like in in junior high, they would always talk about the clicks and like guys, we've got to we've got to get out of our clicks, guys. Can't can't just click up. It's like the clicks are like the big deal. If junior yeah, high, Chris, I know they sound. No one else ever used that word except the youth group people. You know, like gotta watch out for clicks. Oh, oh yeah. man, that was that was fun. 
Um, Sorry, it, I, I had to show you the, the, the death scene, though. Like, it, it built up to that. The death scene was dope, because it looked like he jizzed. But other than that, I was pretty fucking bored. Yeah. I what? just love the amount... Like, how many times they probably shot that scene, and how awkward they all are, the are in their acting, and just how I'm pretending to be a... Yeah. I don't Ooh, think they, they shot, shot anything more than one, one time. I think yeah. I think those that was a really good movie, and I think you're wrong. Uh, I think those are all really good <laughs> Anyways, actors. What else is going on? Yeah, Scott <laughs> yeah. did invest uh, two hours of his time, so I I understand your bias, sir. Um. Yeah. Uh. The the orgy was good, but I didn't want to show that on here. Oh, there's an orgy. There's an orgy. All right, fire it up. No, 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 fire it up. no. We I'm already, fall asleep. you already used the skip scene, the skip card. Okay, good. So Thank you for the respecting card. the skip tokens. Hey, let's read some donos. I got oh, them. Yeah. Are you Can on? We do it? Oh yeah. Did you just, did you just ask me to do it? Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> All right. Let me refresh. Make sure I'm not missing any. Okay, here's some donations. Okay, Julie Ashton donated ten bucks. Says, "Hey Zach, it's been a while." She's scouting a leading lady for a rom-com and wants to... She says, we've already gotten Jared Leto on board and any chance Sarah would be interested. I don't know if that's real or not. Okay. Julie Ashton is the casting director who did Wrecked, but I would be shocked if she was trying to contact me with this not, Absolutely not. That. Okay. <laughs> oh, hold on and hang on. Uh, hold on and hang on. Donate 10 bucks. Says, good hair day, boys. Thanks to Sam, we rabbit hole Donald James Parker. And we love your faces, your fucking ger- your fucking gems. I thought she said your germs. Two Mars. Okay. Hey, wait, wait, hold on and hang on. Thank you for the uh, baked goods. They were delicious. Oh, what did mm. you get from her? What did she send to you? Cookies and like caramel blondies that blew my fucking balls off. Did you guys get the uh, Oreo chip cookies? That's what she sent me. Yeah. Like, oh my God, those things. Real good. They're so good. She's very talented. The Reese's She does it professionally, you know. Um, okay, then Professor Mark donates uh, during 25 bucks. Says, love you guys. Thanks for popping in whenever you do. Quick question. Where do you get your ideas from? Love <laughs> Great question. Let's get into it. I love it. That's the uh, Adam Egget, the joke that uh, Norm MacDonald played on Adam Egget, like every interview that he did. Oh, yeah. Did you ever see that? I've seen like, that. watch all the Adam Egget clips where he has to ask the guests, like, David Letterman and Jerry Seinfeld. He's like, so uh, I'm just chopping at the bit to ask this because Norm t- made him ask it. And he's like, so uh, where do you get your ideas from? <laughs> and like Letterman just starts laughing. And like Super Dave is like, <laughs> don't ever ask that. <laughs> don't ever, don't Super ever Dave ask doesn't get it. <laughs> <laughs> Did I ever tell and you? now some a, a new dono came in. Uh, Dead Grandpa Jizz do- donated ten dollars and says hi, Zach. So I, I I'm glad they said hi, Zach because I, I think Dead Grandpa Jizz is a pretty phenomenal username, actually. <laughs> I think the Dead Grandpa is what just happened in the movie. How do you? So does that mean that he jizzed and then died, and you've got the jizz, or does that mean you extracted jizz from a corpse? Or yeah, or you just been holding on to it, and then he passed away, and so you have it to remember him by. Is that kind of that's kind of like the the there. sweeter thing? Like I, I think that's a very sweet, sentimental. Like oh, you yeah, you have a part of him. Yeah. You'll have that for. Somebody's asking me if I've ever seen the experimental film I B area. No, I don't know what that is. Um, did yeah, do you guys remember Mung? Remember Sam talking about like Mung when we were in college? Where it's I, like, and what was Mung? It's like you take a you take a grandma out into the woods. Yeah, yeah. You tie I, her to a tree till she dies. It's funny is I right? just I just exposure. did a podcast where I talked about this. I don't think it's out yet though. Um, oh really? Yeah, it was it was when I met Trevor. The first time I met Trevor, I told him he was funny, and he was like, "Thanks," and walked away. And the second time was uh i was at ucb and there was an improv show and they interviewed me to base the improv off of they like i volunteered out of the audience and the questions led to me explaining mung and i was like 18 and it was like a crowd full of people and i was like uh i didn't come up with this it's you take an old lady and you with a big fupa and uh, you know like the front upper pussy area and you take her out into the woods and you let her rot for weeks and it was me being like 
I didn't come up with it. This wasn't. Uh, and uh, and then you you drop like a rock on her fupa, and whatever comes out is mung. And it's but it's just like a catch all for something gross. Wow. And like Santorum. I, I remember that. And uh, yeah, and then Trevor came up to me after that and was like, "Hey, that was funny. You want to start a sketch?" I remember you. Did you do that again at a show sometime, or maybe I just heard you talk? That's kind of his thing now, Tim. Yeah, it's kind of my thing. Yeah, it's, <laughs> yeah. I go from town to town. I explain to them what mung is. I explain fupas. I have diagrams. And someone, yeah. someone asked, uh, "Is mung a British slang for pussy?" But I think they're thinking of minge, right? Isn't it minge? Darren? Or fanny? I don't know. Isn't a fanny I haven't a talked to anybody about minge here. Not yet. Pretty sure it's <laughs> minge. Not Working your way up. <laughs> yeah, I'm getting there. The next the next nice Rastafarian that stops by to drop off some photos. Ask him. Ask if he knows. I will. I did not come up with Mung. I've never said I did. Brad Nuggets <laughs> asks, y'all seen any ICP movies? Does ICP have movies? Yeah. yeah dude, oh my god, there's a ton. One. But I've never watched one. The, there's I, always one of like, uh, Big Money Rustlers. That's big, their western. Big Money Rustlers. Oh, I do know that. Which I think is, is like... We should do that. We, we watched one, one on the bus. Good. I thought we watched one on the bus. Yeah, I, that I that sounds right. Big Money Rustlers is the second one, I remember waking up from a nap or something and you guys were finishing up. What? Big Money Rustlers is the second one, I believe. Oh, uh, and but I believe like the whole thing too is like they're, it's it's uh, all maybe someone in, in chat can correct me, but uh, it's they're kind of the same stories is what I hear, and they're and they don't play friends. They're not like ICP in the movies. They play characters, but they're juggalos. Yeah, they still have the face paint and everything, right? Yeah, they're the same movies. They both suck ass. That's what Pamela says. Can we stream an ICP movie? I mean, if they're on any streaming service, it has to be Prime, right? With their content. I would be down for that. that I mean, I would good. love to do that. I, I would love to do that. Did, just that happen. little bit of that Christian movie just now, I was, I was in heaven. So. I mean, here's the thing. is like the best bad movies are on YouTube. Like YouTube is filled with the best right. bad shit. There's so much just shit on there. You're allowed to watch any, any YouTube video on Twitch, right? Think so. Sick. I mean, well, no one can. But it's, but it's you can't have men's nipples on it. So can you watch world wrestling videos? I think you well, can't, you can't have have men's nipples on Twitch. No, you can't have you can't you... have your own nipples. I think. Oh, uh, I thought there was a shirtless guy a once difference. that we like uh, raided or something. Like a guy had a shirt off and was doing a show. Someone said you definitely can't watch any YouTube video on Twitch. Well, try and stop me. Yeah. <laughs> I bet we can for a little while. <laughs> uh, someone says, men's nipples is nebulous. I've seen a lot of shirtless speedrunners. Is that a subgenre of that subgenre is shirtless speedrunning? <laughs> I just don't understand why Twitch has to be so fucking prudish. It's weird, right? It's, it, it's, it's weird that it's they are. It's because Twitch was invented by... Uh, Pilgrims who are escaping the the call the um who are going to the colonies to escape the crown. That's why. I just got this text from a three four seven number. Hi, my name is Jordan. I'm texting from a black led campaign by the NAACP National Urban League National Action Network and FPWA to encourage COVID nineteen vaccinations. Are you fully vaccinated with two doses and a booster? One yes, two partially, three no. Reply stop to end. Humble brag. That's spam, right? Yeah, that's Zach like uh, bragging. Yeah. bragging that what, you get all what, these cool texts. Uh, yeah, don't reply to that. <laughs> Someone says that's too much, ma- too many, too much words in a row to not be a scam. They yeah. said totally. Yeah. Uh, Endless um, Mike says I heard John Twitch is Mormon. Uh, Someone John tells Twitch Mike is Pence Mormon, is a big investor in Twitch. There you go. Mm. Oh, I wonder why we can't make the front page anymore. Because we haven't. Wait, Darren, are those skip glasses for me reading the text? No, no, no. I just put them on. Oh, I mean, just, just they're fun. We got to take your the skip prop seriously. So I, I'd like you oh, to take them off. Yeah, I mean, I like this yeah. frog thing, but I'm not putting it on camera unless I need yeah. to use. It. Understood. Oh. Good point. Good point. 
Oh, uh, uh, little little movie update. Um, I went to a a party at the the studio that's doing our movie last night, and one of the animators came up to me and said he loved the movie so it much, sucks. and that it's the best work that the studio has done. Oh, but to be fair, uh, they've only churned out trash prior to this. So yes. that's, yeah, that's, yeah. that's yeah. they only yeah. did Christian Grandpa movies. And yeah, they this did is all the, the second movie movies. that they've made. So. Um, but and I thought it was awesome. really cool. That's really yeah. that's, that's, yeah, that's very that's cool. really good to hear. <laughs> Sweet. Yeah. Um, cool. All right, is that it? Bye. We done? We did it? We did what it. else? What this should we talk it. about? What's going on, guys? Hey, I got um, another donate. I got some more donations. Ooh, a bunch more came in. What do you think? Oh, what do you think uh Trevor would say about Ukraine? Um Do you think he'd be for oh, man, or against? He, he would take over the entire stream about Putin and Russia. That would be the thing. Yeah. yeah. The thing. Yeah, he about it. <laughs> well, um, <laughs> I don't think he'd take a stance, right? He didn't do stances. He'd just yeah. like kind of talk about the whole thing and, you know. Yeah. This is my best Trevor. Just the essence is this. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah you and I, we both have the elbow. The up. high elbow. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Elbow, good call, you guys. I can't no, even, I'm not but, tall enough to have an elbow up like that. <laughs> what? Yeah, what? What? <laughs> That was his Trevor laugh. Yeah, good. That yeah. was good. That was that was Z doing Trevor's laugh. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> he always did this with his with his hair. He would do this, and I would just watch all this dandruff fall onto his shoulders. <laughs> I tell you, dude. He, Trevor had the worst dan- and I have terrible dandruff, so well, yeah, I, I can't really. Me too. He had psoriasis, Trevor had so we all that had, had to be part of it, right? What's that? He had psoriasis, so that had to yeah, be exactly. I mean, yeah, it was yeah, definitely yeah. like a medical thing. I'm not saying like this yeah. fucking loser, like, <laughs> what an asshole. Get some perk, bitch. But I remember Sam one time we were writing at his house, and I was like sitting on his couch, and I, the couch was like just covered in like dead skin. And I remember honestly, this is like really sad and kind of sweet, maybe. But I remember I was sitting on it, and I was like. I could either be disgusted by this or I could just be like, yeah, it's Trevor. It's all good. <laughs> and I was like, yeah, I'll just, it's fine. Yeah. But yeah, yeah literally that's sweet. coated that's like yeah. someone sprinkled powdered sugar all over the fucking couch. <laughs> what a fucking loser. Get some pert. <laughs> Get pert. Bitch. Get some pert. <laughs> pert. <laughs> Uh, that says Zach and Trevor talked about Ukraine on a Newsboys once. I don't know if we did. Although my uncle is Bill Taylor, who is the ambassador to the Ukraine, and he's oh. on the news constantly. So like he's busy guy these days. Wow, I bet. Yeah, I just found out that it's like uh, they they had they wanted they wanted to take Kiev in like one to four days, and this is the fourth night. Yeah. So like, it'll be an interesting night. Yeah, I think they're pushing hard. I can't believe it's happening. It's crazy. Yeah, it's yeah. crazy. Yeah, like what is going to happen? I'm, like what? What is going to be the the outcome of this? This it's well, the, it's amazing. The, Did you hear the fear? I mean, like Germany is everyone is now giving them weapons. Like Germany and Hungary yeah. and all everyone has decided we we're going to we're giving them weapons, and that is. You know, and the fear is, is basically Putin pulls out of the the nuclear pact, uh, you know, with all the new sanctions and this constant military, um, military delivery, like for the Ukrainian team. Um, I don't know. Did you it's hear, scary. Did you hear that part yeah. of Putin's speech where he was talking about how he was going all over all the reasons that they were going to do this? And he said that uh um that the ukraine he's like they could build nukes they could produce nukes in the ukraine and that's an existential threat to us which is like scary because he's not like actually saying that what he's saying is like he's basically repeating what america said about iraq and basically saying well if america can invade iraq we can invade ukraine yeah Oh, by just making shit up. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we did. 
Yeah, because we yeah. made shit yeah. up. He's like, we can do it like, too. So yeah. he's, he's just playing by the rules established when we did that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah, and the Nazi thing, right? He keeps saying they're Nazis or something. Or, yeah. yeah. Um, the Zelensky guy, the Ukrainian president, is the shit. Yeah, yeah he's kind of a, fucking rad, dude. His kind of speech was amazing. amazing. Dude, yeah. What was that one I saw today? He said, they're like, do you need a ride out here? He's like, I don't need a ride. I need ammunition. <laughs> like, whoa, all right. Yeah. <laughs> He's like walk around in armor. He used to be a stand-up comedian. Did you know that? Long time ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Has like no political background. Like, yeah, stand-up comedian. How did he land that job? I don't know. Oh. How do you know? Pro- probably, Europe. probably open be- mics and <laughs> grinding and YouTube. And- You've got to get out there and network. Man. Just, all about just, networking. Yeah, the whole world. He did stayed. all the yuck yucks, all the yuck yucks, all across yeah. Ukraine. I, I'm, I'm that guy. God. I'm guessing he wasn't good at stand-up because now he's the president. Because that's not, like, if, if you're good at stand-up, they're not like, now you're the president. You have to suck at stand-up, and then you're like, I'm trying something else. Yeah, you, if he was good, he would have just kept doing it, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He got really mad one time. He's like, I'm gonna I'm just gonna be president instead. Stand-up's too hard. In the Ukraine, what is the top, like, dream that a Ukrainian stand-up comedian can have? Yeah, I don't know. What, like... He Go might have that. been amazing. He might have been like Eddie Murphy level good. He was like, what am I going to do? Have a Ukrainian sitcom? No, I'll be the fucking president. But he could have been a Yakov Smirnoff. He could have been like true. a crossover star and been big in the, the Eastern. Well, people, okay, multiple Western. people in chat are saying he, he was on a satirical TV show where he played the president. There it is. Oh. <laughs> Bam. Interesting. Oh. It's like a better version of what happened to us with Trump. Yeah. <laughs> he, he was a TV boss. He could be our boss. <laughs> oh, God. Somebody said, wow, Zach, it's not the Ukraine. It's just Ukraine. Yes. Fair enough. That's, Thank you that's for that. The thing. It's like this. Uh, now it's uh, they've been making sure we say Ukraine, not the Ukraine. And I used to say Kiev until two days ago. You know, I didn't know. But Oh, I'm having a boy. What? Oh, you are? Yeah. Uh, All right, man. Cool. So you saw you saw his dick. The little dick? Uh I mean the the like, on the thing, yeah. The 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 technician went like uh was talking about like oh. Zach, I didn't actually see it. We don't like go in go and look. In. It was in the sonar, so <laughs> it's not clear. You can't you can't Thank see you for anything. Clearing that up. Uh, I didn't look at it long or anything. I, yeah. I just like also, I didn't knock so hard. When I was I just thought, like, so oh, okay, yeah, that's a boy. Yeah, yeah, okay. <laughs> no, the cool. the technician though was like, like we're just doing the scan, and she was like talking about it, and she's like, yeah, and we'll get to gender, and we were talking about how our doctor hadn't told us yet, and she was like, really? I saw it like right away, but hadn't told us the gender told yet. Us. <laughs> yeah, and it was like, oh, so if you saw it, I'm. Guessing you didn't see a vagina. Like I'm guessing that's not. No, I saw. I saw the lack of it. I saw the lack <laughs> of it right away. Yeah, but I, you know, that's impressive that she saw it right away. It was prominent, apparently. That kid's gonna need magnums. Yeah, yeah. Oh man, Sam, what are you the most nervous about? Um, bears. Oh, you mean with the kid? With the kid? Yeah, he meant okay. parenting. Okay. Uh, no, I mean, I'm with you on bears, man. You can't predict those motherfuckers. Yeah, yeah. Do you hear about that one in uh, uh, you Lake Tahoe? Yeah, it what's it called? Three. It was actually three, three? of them. Three? They, they, them... they have no fear of people? <laughs> yeah. And there's three of them. They, all, they thought the it was the same. The tank, huh? yeah. Frank the Tank. Frank yeah. the right, Tank. Right, 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 he right. figured it out. He finally figured it out. He's like, wait. I can fuck these people up. <laughs> <laughs> but has he attacked food? anyone? He hasn't attacked any people, has he? No, he's just gone around and like uh, Yogi Bared it, right? Right. Take it. He's like, wait, I, I I don't have to be afraid of these people, and their food is delicious. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've been eating grubs out of the yeah. dirt. They have fucking Doritos. <laughs> <laughs> they have Doritos and pizza. You know, the other bears like, I think I said this shit is crazy. There's this cheese <laughs> dust. Oh, it's amazing. Yeah, remember when we were like genuinely stumped by what bears eat? 
Then we were yes! Like, salmon. Uh, yeah. I salmon. We said, do bears eat honey, right? We were like, <laughs> well, yeah, bears eat honey. But- Bear- honey? They eat they berries? Yeah, <laughs> right? Berries? We were like, salmon. Oh, yeah, salmon, of course. They fish. <laughs> And that guy, that guy that Werner Herzog made the movie about. They yeah, him. they ate him. He tried well. Yeah. Oh, man, I recently saw it for the first time. That guy was a fucking lunatic, you know? Yeah, I love that movie. Yeah, it's amazing. It's a, Dude, the, the part with the audio where he tells her, like, I yeah, can't like her. Jesus Christ, man. I just saw that. Makes that, you love Werner Herzog so much, too. Yeah. I just saw that Icarus um, documentary. Did you see that? Which one? The what? Icarus? The one about... Is P- that the uh, Mount Everest? No, Wait, that's about Lance Armstrong doping. Kind of like the the. It's actually probably a pretty interesting thing to watch right now. It's about PEDs. It's basically a guy is like, I'm gonna make a documentary where I do PEDs and see what it does to my body, and but as part of that, he finds this Russian guy who is works with the Russian government and is in charge of their whole like Olympic doping thing. And it was like right before the scandal hit. And then, like, everyone around him started getting killed, and he had to get, like, the whole documentary becomes about sneaking him out of Russia. Cool. I love the Kanye documentary. No. No. Someone was just asking about it. Yeah. I watched the first episode. I liked it. It's about his, it's like his, like, life story, or what is it? Yeah, it's cool because it, like, really takes its time, so it lets, like, kind of banal and mundane moments like really play out and it could be boring but like Kanye is such a fascinating person that like just him sitting down and talking to his mom for like 10 minutes is like really interesting yeah and, yeah uh, I liked cool. it I watched that too the, only the first episode that's as far as I got to yeah I'm gonna I'm, keep I'm like going. looking forward to the rest yeah 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 Oh, Rustin Bendricks in chat says, I watched Come and See yesterday for inaugural World War III Day. Uh, I don't know if you guys have ever seen Come and See, but it's that Russian World War II movie. It is fucking hardcore. It's from like 80, 80 yeah. 81 or something. Oh, really? I yeah, dude, there's it, a but scene where the kid's in a it. field and there's bullets going over his head and they're real, they're like shooting real bullets at the kid. <laughs> you know, like it's fucking hardcore. It's, it's a pretty uh, heroin recommendation movie. about like. European war movies. There's a movie called Threads. Do you guys know about this? No, I just want to see it. It's in my dude. shutter queue. It's been there for years. Watch it. It's insane, dude. It's that that documentary movie's... about nuclear war, right? It's a, it's like a fake documentary about nuclear war in in England, and it like uh, it goes there. It's good. Maybe uh, Darren doesn't need to watch it right now. <laughs> I'll watch it. <laughs> yeah, I'll hang on that one. <laughs> hey, I, I thought of this question for you guys before I hopped on, and I was like, oh, I want to ask that question. And I, I, I remembered. But when you were a kid, like, what scene in a movie was that one of those scenes where you had to keep rewinding it because it was the funniest shit you've ever seen in your life? And you, like, kept crying. You were just crying in tears laughing. Well, I don't know if this was because it was funny, but uh, do you remember in... Uh Vacation, National Lampoon's Vacation. There's that scene where uh, Beverly D'Angelo is in the shower and she's naked. I, I rewound that a ton. And Dude, I and laughed were, until I literally jizzed my pants. <laughs> I cried <laughs> in a way. <laughs> I, there was, let's just say there was fluid involved. Uh, <laughs> that was, my parents had that on VHS and yeah, that scene was amazing when I was a kid. <laughs> <laughs> your parents are your parents are watching it, and all of a sudden, like it gets that part, and it like it's it like doesn't play. It's all like tracking. <laughs> shit. Like, oh, oh, weird. <laughs> Red oh. nuggets. I'm watching Scream. That's like, oh wait, did you guys see that somebody found a photo of people evacuating Kiev, and like it looks like I'm straight. Oh up yeah, the fucking front and center of the photo. <laughs> yeah. No. Dude, can is that on Reddit? I'll, I'll, I'll find it. It's crazy. Yeah, I'll find it on Reddit, and then uh, Darren, you can look at it on stream. Right. Um, are we still answering Darren's question? Because I have a, I know. Yeah, my, no, yeah. What's Sam your what's your answer? answer it. Okay, so there's a line in this is not from a comedy, but uh, uh, Tim Burton Batman, 1989 Batman. There is a one line that Nicholson says that Jack Nicholson's Joker says that my brothers and I. One time we were watching it, rewound it over and over. We, it was just so great. And the shot is empty. It's of the ceiling after the Joker shoots Bruce Wayne in Vicky's apartment, right? 
and then the shot's empty, and then just Nicholson goes, Never of another man's rhubarb. And we just watched it over and over. And, uh, it's so it funny. says what? Never what? Never rub another man's ru- Never rub another man's rhubarb like that. <laughs> it's just, and it, we just, it's what he cut. You know, there's that. I mean, the best scene in the movie is not a Batman scene. It's, you know, Bruce Wayne's in the apartment with Vicky and the Joker shows up and like, you know, I love that scene. I love anyway, that. Yeah. Uh, I love that movie. Yeah, it's just, it's a, such a great movie. But uh, I, that scene, we watched it probably eleven times that one night. Just like <laughs> my I favorite part, it recently, my favorite Jack Nicholson part of that movie is when he goes, he's imitating Jack Palance, and he's like, "You are my number one." Yeah. Guy. So my daughter does that now because we watched that a few times and she loves it. And she'll just randomly say, "Like, Dad, you are my number one." Are, are you showing it, Sam? Yeah, yeah, yeah. If, if you look at stream, oh, you can see it. It's, it's up in stream. There's, if, okay. No, if you just oh. if you just if you can look at the stream, yeah, yeah. Uh, it's the picture of Zach in Ukraine. What? Oh, that Where picture! I from, was like, yeah, I, saw, I thought I, saw that on the Reddit. I thought Zach was in Bulgaria. <laughs> uh. Somebody says that looks like me at about twenty. No, I still look exactly like that. Thank you. <laughs> Fuck you. I'm out of here, guys. I don't need this. Yeah, I'm leaving. I don't blame you. This is uh-huh. bullshit. <laughs> and that was from uh, um, Baby Vega, Baby Vegeta nineteen. No, it's just a picture where it looks Mom, like. Mom, the guys are being there. jerks again. <laughs> uh, oh, by Did the you w- guys ever see uh, uh, Men at Work? Uh, no. That? Yeah. With, with Emilio Estevez and Charlie Sheen. And Charlie Sheen, right? Yeah. yeah. And Charlie Sheen. Yeah. Yeah. Were they like trash so that- men? Yeah, they're trash men. And there's this scene where they play a prank on the other guys, the other trash men in the locker room. And he, the dude opens up his locker and just like shit, like sprays all over him. And it's just his realization that it's shit. He's like, it's shit. It's shit. <laughs> He kept saying it over and over. And I, I thought that was the funniest thing of my entire life. I like rewound that scene eight times. I couldn't get enough of it. I, ju- I, funny. I just remembered one that, that was like this. This was a little later, but uh, do you remember? Uh, uh, Timmy knows what I'm talking about, but do you remember uh, in Encino Man? Uh, there's a part where the bully takes Sean Ashton, Sean Ashton and, and, and pins him against the wall and Sean Aston tries to talk and the bully goes, shoosh! Dude, there's a couple of, he, he does that a few times in that movie. Shoosh! And That's Sam, you the, I, the best part of Encino, man, is the bully saying, shoosh! Yeah. yeah. Well, and I think, I don't know if we were talking about this and I talked about it with one of you guys, but there's another scene in that movie where Sean Aston's character is macking on the girl, the girl that he's in love with or whatever, and then I, I can't remember exactly what happens, but then like the bully guy just comes in and goes, yeah, he's like staring. Okay, Sean Aston's staring at the girl, <laughs> and then the bully guy, like his head just comes into frame, similar to the Jack Nicholson thing. His head comes into frame and just looks at Sean and goes, <laughs> it's like, don't look at my girl. <laughs> that I see you. Is so fucking good. That guy is also yeah. in Wayne's World, and he has like three lines in Wayne's World, and he's fucking incredible. Hey, he's what are his lines in Wayne's World? He's the one who, um, and, can, and may I say, your wife's a major babe, that guy. And he's like sitting on the camera. It's like, that's a nice, that's a big camera. Thanks. Like that, guy. that guy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I was just yeah, watching. Dark- funny, man. He should, he should have worked more. Yeah, I mean, he was, I mean, he was like, a, he was great. Yeah. I have no idea who it was or where he, like what, uh, those are the only two movies I know that he did, you know? It's funny to me that both of your moments is a guy, a guy go like this. Frame and commenting on like, that's my girl. <laughs> You're right. Holy shit, that's weird. Yeah. Timmy wow. thinks women are objects oh, that yeah, should you know be what? owned. Totally normal, Will. It, that's mine. When she goes, hi, Wayne. Hi. And then hits the car yes. on her bike and goes over. I, I rewound that and watched that a fucking shit ton of times. Oh, yeah, dude, there's a lot of that in Wayne's World that I've probably rewound a bunch too. I used to watch that movie so much. Good lord. It's ridiculous, oh. that movie. Like, every line is hilarious. Yeah. What am I going to do with a gun rack? 
I don't even own a gun, let alone multiple guns that would necessitate a rack. You know, if you're not careful, Wayne, you're going to lose me. I lost you six months ago. Are you mental? <laughs> no. Dude, that you know, is... I was I was getting into I, I watched Happy Gilmore and Billy Madison this last week. I just want to watch like old school comedies and like I don't have Wayne's World. I was like, fuck, I thought I had Wayne's World. I really want to watch both of those. But the first one is just it's so good. You know, if you stab a man in the dead of winter, steam. Right? <laughs> Some say it's a soul escape. <laughs> I think it was yeah, Trevor every, used to yeah. talk about that, how that was like his favorite line was Ed O'Neill yeah. like coming in. And it's and, so weird and random. And he said, then he addresses the camera later, right? Yeah. And Wayne's like, hey, it's the way he calls the camera over. He's just like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's some fucked up shit about murder. And Wayne's just like, hey, only me and Garth get to talk to the camera. <laughs> oh, the scene I would always, I loved in that movie that I was re would rewind is when he opens the door and there's all those like army, like those like commando guys training. Yeah. They're like, what are you going to do with these guys? I don't know. I just always wanted to open the door. Like, it's a bunch of guys. My, <laughs> later on, I might have talked about this on stream before, but later on, my like favorite scene of that movie became the scene with Rob Lowe and the Noah Arcade guy. Like, no one else is in it. And uh, uh, he goes, later we're going down to the studio. And the wife goes, that's where the magic happens. Ooh, do you work in TV? No, but I watch a lot of it. You're a lucky yeah. man. It's like the weirdest. Like, no, no, no. You're missing the best part. He goes, okay. of course you do. You're artistic. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's such a weird bullshit. Like the joke is like in, in the subtext of the scene. Yeah, I don't know. It's really, really funny. Bizarre. Scene. Oh, yeah. Someone says, yeah, that's uh, Brian Doyle Murray. That's right. Bill Murray's yeah, Brian brother. Doyle Murray. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Real funny. God, yeah. I was I was like I could watch this with my kid and then I was like I don't want to she'll read the he blows goats parts and then I have to talk about that I'm not I'm not gonna you know yeah you, you get to that point as a parent where you have to sit down and have the blowing goats conversation I'm just not I'm not there yet <laughs> we did a sketch about that <laughs> we did a sketch about blowing goats no we did a sketch about a dad having a conversation with a daughter about bestiality because she walked in on him oh yeah yeah what was the animal. It was uh, a, a donkey, A donkey, right? a donkey, yeah. It wasn't, yeah, okay. It wasn't a goat, goes, but... but uh, Daddy, did you love the donkey? <laughs> 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 That's the best part. That. Did you love the donkey? <laughs> oh, That's someone, a, someone it's brings like up. More, it's more complicated. Someone, did that. <laughs> someone in chat says, uh, brought up that line, I remember, I love what I do with that donkey. Yeah. <laughs> what I do, do with that donkey. <laughs> Do moms love donkeys was too? The dad or is that, who was the dad? Was Trevor the dad? The... No, I was the dad. No, was, oh, you dad. were the dad? Okay. Yeah. Man, I, I... Well, what was the answer to moms love donkeys too? What was the because no, your mom is like a psycho bitch who doesn't love anything but money. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Something mean. Yeah. Very mean. Yeah. Misogynistic, yeah. yeah. What? Oh, no, someone said they just watched a, <laughs> I guess we watched that and did commentary on it. Someone, dirty little COVID baby says, guys, I just watched the SSS where you did commentary on that. And oh, really? Sam sucks Saturday. Was there one where we just did a bunch of Sam sketches? Sam yeah. not there, so we decided to just do all Sam sketches. Maybe I, no, I think I was there. It. You were there. Oh yeah, Dollicker gave the quote. You know, your mother's a horse. She fucks everybody. <laughs> you guys think we could do one day? We should do like our favorite Trevor sketches, which is like oh, most God. of the sketches are Trevor sketches, yeah. but it would be cool to like. To do that, that I would be hard. hard that. It'd be hard. Be I hard. mean, I, I didn't really I, I like yeah, those either. sketches. Maybe, maybe on his birthday or something we could, but that's not even that far away. So, yeah, yeah. It'd be hard. When is his birthday? Those sketches the suck. Fourth of April. April fourth. Your birthday's in yeah. a few days, pal. Right, Zach? Oh yeah. Oh. Hey yo. Three, three days, hey. right? Yeah. I remember that because you birthday. said it in a sketch. Hey. Zach said his birthday in a sketch? Yeah. I don't know if it was on TV, but when we did uh, Attention Guy Live, you would say your birthday. In the, I don't know. You'd, like, make us guess your birthday or something like that? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Dr. Tra Taylor says, how old will Zach be? 49? Oh, sick burn. Okay, I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm seriously done. <laughs> <laughs> oh, finally someone else did it. It's a good gag. 
it's that's, one of why the best. They, that's why it's they put one of these the best on there. So you can do that. It always slaps. <laughs> do you have an actual cover? Yep. So yeah. I can masturbate what? without fear. <laughs> yeah, like when you're when you sitting here talking and suddenly you just gotta rub it. You just all right, cool. And then you can just I just keep talking and yeah, you know, but I'm jerking it, I'm jerking up. Yeah, you don't wanna you don't wanna Jeffrey Tubin yourself. Did you guys see Jeffrey Tubin go on six CNN? No. And he's like sitting down for an interview and the lady's like now, Jeffrey, you've been gone for quite a while, haven't you? And he's like, yes, I have. She's like, because something happened, didn't it? And he's like, yes. And she's like, you were on a Zoom. <laughs> he has to like, go through the whole fucking ordeal. And you were <laughs> masturbating on a Zoom at work, weren't you? And he's like, I thought I wasn't on camera. And, uh, and, and you know what's crazy is that he's got to like really eat shit now. And he's got to be like, you know, I guess there's a lot wrong with me. And I've, I've, I've done a lot of counseling and I, I, I'm in like some self-help groups. And I'm really trying to give back and learn about like what's wrong with me that I could have done something so fucked up. But it's like, dude, he just he thought no one was around. He was jerking off on his computer. Like how that is like the most not fucked up thing yeah, ever. Dude, so and and actually, let's like, think about the time. It was the pandemic. Everybody's isolated. Like everybody started jerking off more. I'm sure. You know what I mean? <laughs> give me a bow, like, Timmy. Again, I didn't. I did because yeah. I was already at levels that were barely sustainable. So I, I didn't change, but yeah. But wait, wait, was, was was there a meeting going on? Yeah, but the meeting was on a was on a break. Like they were on the Zoom, and then they were like, "Let's take a break." And so everyone was okay, like, yeah. doing stuff." And he is an idiot. He's a fucking old man. He doesn't know how technology works. And he thought he wasn't on camera anymore because he probably had a different window up. So he thought he was like fine. You know what I mean? I wonder what was on that other window. Whoa, that's a good question. Why did the girl ask him that? She should have asked him that. What was it, anyways? What was so great? What was so what was so sexy that you just had to take your smoke break and know. Rub the people want to know when you busted. What were you? What was the moment you, think, you were looking at? Do you think he was uh, uh, like when he was on CNN? Part of him was a little tempted to just like take his pants down and like do it. Yeah, I'm back. yeah, bring it out. <laughs> Dude, yeah. Oh, oh no! Again! Two times! I I have a thing. When there's a camera, I just start doing it. I can't help myself. I'm sorry. Oh. It was the I one thing I was, I was trying him, I not to started, do. I would have like embraced it and I would have started talking about, well, like to get myself from flaccid to like semi hard, I usually start out with something a little bit softer, like a couple of girls kissing. And there's this one video I did watch and, and just like, and it's described the whole experience, <laughs> like go all the way to I don't like the ghost cutting straight around in the <laughs> insertion. And I got to say in general, I really don't like porns that just have the angle in the gooch where it's just the ramming. That's <laughs> not what I'm into. At all, into. Ever. Yeah, yeah. No matter I where understand. in the process I am. I can tell she's uncomfortable. She's, <laughs> I mean, what she's upside down on the couch. Like what? Come on. It was like, yeah. Jeffrey, that's not really. And he's like, and I also have to say, I, and, I like professional lighting. You know, Gonzo <laughs> is fine, but it's like now it's become 95% of the stuff out there is Gonzo. It's like, I like production value. I'm old school that way. I like makeup. I like I like full body makeup. And you what's know? what's the deal with the family the stuff now? Is like, what is anybody? What's the deal with the family stuff? If I find out that it's like a brother sister thing, I'm sure it's not true, but I turn the volume down. I take that out of it as an element. I, some people, I guess, are into that, not me. Turn the volume down. Like, if you can't hear the dialogue, it's that it's not fucked up. Yeah. I, I know, they're, I know not they're not really brother and sister. <laughs> so I just, you know, it's like just two people having sex. Yeah. Gross, right? <laughs> right? He keeps asking her. Like, what? That brother's right? Right? Let's fuck that bread? Like, right? I, I'm messed up. I'm messed up. Like, I did that thing, and that's so messed up. But, like, those other people, right? <laughs> I'm not fucking a stepbrother. <laughs> I just want to make sure that you know I'm not like that. <laughs> Beansy says in quotes, Step bro, this is my room. You're so silly. That is like how those start, right? It's just like, what are you doing in here? Let's bang, you know? <laughs> and I love that how the exposition, they always have to say their relationship like again and again. Like, what's, what's up, stepson? Oh, stepson, yeah. <laughs> your homework is due. Because I mean, I, I imagine that if you're in, 
if you have that kind of kink, right, if that you're kind of fetish, I guess you need to keep confirming it, right? But there's so much of that out there. It's like, that must be a big popular fetish, right? <laughs> like... Do you know what? I, I heard this on a podcast. Just... I don't know if this is true or not. But do you know what the most searched for word in American U-porn is? What? M- Mom. <laughs> we really? have problems. Problem. Dude, I mean, you know what? We're a fucked up country. I mean, someone was making a joke about pilgrims earlier. I mean, yeah, we're we are a country uh, that was started by fucking re- repressed, you know, sexual repression is in our roots, you know. And, so and yeah, we really lift the curtain. Everyone just wants to fuck their mom. I just don't I know. know. But I, I'm saying that I think it has warped us. And I mean, why are we? Why do we want to? Fu- why does everyone want to watch moms fuck? I don't get it, that. <laughs> if you look at the statistics, though, it makes sense because the the second most popular word is from the third most popular word is the, and then the fourth most popular word is Simpsons. So it's, people are searching mom from the Simpsons. Because they don't remember her name. Yeah, because nobody knows Mark. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> Simpson. They're Mar- not even. They're not Mar- even trying to jerk off. They just forgot about Google. They're like, well, no. maybe I can find out a new porn. Yeah. Yo, you yeah. know who's really funny? The dad from The Simpsons. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> that no guy. One ever. That guy's so the dumb. Simpsons dad. <laughs> Yo, that the Simpsons, Simpsons dad. dad is- Funny dude, have you seen him? He's oh, funny dude. And that little <laughs> Simpson, that Simpson son, he's a smart ass. Yeah. Yo, you know? that Simpson son like... is almost as funny as the dad, dude. You know what? I love the Simpsons neighbor. <laughs> yeah, I don't think that the Simpsons daughter is as funny as the Simpsons son. <laughs> but the and Simpsons baby, the Simpsons mom is not as funny as the Simpsons dad. <laughs> I love I've this been, guy. Uh, randomly watching Simpsons again, and since we talk about it all the time, and I haven't actually seen the episode in probably fifteen years, last night I watched the one where he goes, where Mo says, "Lisa, you don't like me, and I don't like you." I finally I watched it again. It's a pretty good episode. That's pretty great. That's one of my favorites. I like you, yeah. Mo. I like you. You don't like me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey! Someone's asking Sam. You're doing another marathon. You're doing a quarter, right? Or a, a half? half marathon. I'm doing a half cool. marathon. I ran. What is that? Nine miles today. Um, nice. Good for you. Oof. When is it? It's like so. That's a like nine is about a third, maybe. Yeah, a little over a third. What? No, he's yeah. running half. <laughs> I'm running he a said half. He did nine today. Yeah. Yeah, but he's gonna run a half marathon. Yeah, I know. I so that's thirteen. Nine miles. is about a little over a third, probably. Right? Is it twenty six? Yeah, twenty six is a full marathon. Um, where do you run nine miles, Sam? Uh, you know Griffith Park. I go. I live in Griffith Park. Yes. To the entrance over by uh, the, um, like where like the horse thing is. Oh yeah. And I run around to the the equestrian center in Burbank, and then I run back. Uh-huh. And someone says, "And at what time exactly?" <laughs> yeah, Sam, when are you going to be doing that next? You're going to have a fucking crew, buddy. Are people going mean, to try and That was one of my most fun times in New York was when Sam ran the marathon and we all went and hung out on the on the route and like high fived. That was fun. That was you know? fun. Um, that was cold. It was, it was really cold. chilly that day. Sam was running. I love that picture of Trevor trying to give me a pint of water. Uh, <laughs> oh, in the in the beer glass, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He tried. He didn't know that, like you know, there there are hydration stations all around, the, all up the way where you grab stuff. And he thought, like, I needed someone to give me water, and so he got me a full pint of water. And I was like, no, <laughs> it's like too much. You don't. Yeah, and can you imagine if you grabbed it and chugged it? I mean, you would have puked like what five minutes later, right, or right away? No, I mean, that would have just sucked. Yeah. Oof. But like he wouldn't take it back. I was like, no. <laughs> and so the picture is this cup of water. It wasn't a glass; it was a plastic cup. But the picture is a a cup of water dropping to the ground. Uh, <laughs> he was just he trying to that. hydrate his buddy. He knew it would make a mess. Yeah, <laughs> that's what yeah. he wanted. Um. Yeah, I'm also. Uh, I'm gonna teach a sketch class. So if, oh, if people chill. over Zoom, if people want to sign up for my sketch class, they can. Oh, and right sweet. now, starting starting from scratch, right now, freestyle a sketch. Go. 
Okay, uh, two guys, they see each other on the street. They haven't seen each other in a while. And one has this m- sketch. This mysterious sketch. What, what, Jug, what? No, you can't do that. Why not? It's got to be a new one. A new... S- oh, that one exists? Oh. All right. Um, it's like Hitler, but he raps. All right, all right you're done. You're out. You're out. <laughs> Oh, the glasses too. That was, a, that was an awesome ad for your class, by yeah. the way. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I really you want to what? learn. I, I and chat, it. make a trailer. Uh, well, yeah. Join Sam's sketch class. Yeah, join Sam's sketch <laughs> class. What I'm going to teach you guys is like the way you do it is you start a, a, a Twitch show with your four friends. And then at some point in that, one of your friends says, come up with the sketch. Go now. <laughs> and that's how you write a sketch. You know what though? Like here in a small town, people don't always understand what you know. A lot of people don't know the show I was on and some stuff. And I'll I'll say like, yeah, I was on a sketch comedy show. Oh, tell me a joke. It's like, no, we had like I need like a dress and a wig and we need a set. I can't. Next time somebody says that, be like, I would, but your wife's not here. Does that work? <laughs> no. I don't know. God. <laughs> really. You know what I was talking about? I. I uh, Oh, the would, new Jackass. Did but you your wife's like too fat. Yeah, did you guys see Jackass? I loved uh, it. I haven't I seen it yet. No. I was going to ask you, is it good? I loved it. I mean, it's, it's fucking it's, funny. It's more of the same thing, you know? It's great. It's great. Um, is uh, no, is Eric Andre good in it? Yeah. Have he you gets, s- uh, he, I mean, he's like, he's not in it very much. And, yeah, and like, like his big it. moment is in the trailer. Or, or right. And he's not doing like Eric Andre stuff. He's just another hapless victim for a couple times, basically. Yeah. <laughs> you know, ha- but uh, yeah, he's good. Have you seen oh, the I'm clip of that guy, Zach, the, the bigger guy, Zach? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Have you ever seen the clip of him breaking his leg skateboarding? No. no. It Sounds is horrible. one of the worst leg breaking videos I've ever seen. Yeah, I, I can't I watch, watch that kind of shit, dude. Oh, I, I, I can't, can't watch like broken ankles and all that stuff. Like, yeah, this is the. It's, like, the it's ball so ball gumby. Ball it's ball so like rubber leg kind of thing. Oh, yeah. yeah. What was yeah. The, there was that basketball player that fucked up his leg majorly in March Madness a few years back? Do you remember that? He's a college b-ball player, I think. Uh, oh, it happens. It's, huh? Are you thinking of uh, uh, Paul or? Paul George broke his like really snapped his leg in the NBA, and then also, um, uh, what's his name? I'm blanking on his name, but the guy it was from, like one where it there's a guy who was on the Celtics. Uh, uh, I'm really blanking on his name, but like his fur in the five first five minutes of him playing on the team, he uh, snapped his leg. Oh, Kevin Ware is what everyone's saying. Uh, yeah, Joe Theismann mm. snapped his leg and the bone came out. Hayward, that Gordon Hayward. Yeah, that's what I, I was trying to think Sid Vicious, uh, Sid Vicious from WCW breaking his leg live was pretty bad. I guess I didn't see that. Oof. Mm. There's always like the Olympics um, when somebody like lands from the vault yeah. and then it'll just snap and then it'll cut away really quick. I hate it so much. <laughs> I remember what I remember my Instagram is like, I follow like these stupid like um vicious videos or like uh you know just people like people just like hurting themselves and stuff like that and i'm i'm like kind of almost over it because so much is like skateboarders just like cracking their ankles and right angles and stuff like that it's like too hard. i like how you're almost is that just over me? do you guys watch people like <laughs> fail videos on instagram or is that just me? i watch fail videos mm-hmm. i watch that yeah. there's that um catatonic youth do you do you watch that at all where no, it's that? just the worst music stuff. It's like the worst hardcore bands and stuff like that, and the most like <laughs> cringy, embarrassing music videos and stuff. It's great. That was fun. What is it called? Catatonic Youth. I'll, I'll follow that. There's. Hey, we got a bunch of donuts to catch up on. Should do I? It, start? Yeah, yeah. Do it. Okay. Do it. Oh yeah, yeah, for uh, sure. Dono okay, break. so last one I did with Dead Grandpa Jizz. That was a while ago. Okay, so Jacob donated twenty bucks. It says any updates on B and M, Bumperson and Myers. Uh, no, no updates on that. I'll, um, I'll finish that soon. The the one episode that. Oh, is there one of, left? There's we, one did left. We not, what what do we have left to put out? It's a Hortown episode. There's a Hortown episode that uh, I, okay. it was, I was half F, I had half of it edited before, but it's just it's right. t- it's tough. It's yeah, tough. it can't be. Can't be an easy, easy thing to look at. Yeah, Trevor um, is in it. Yeah, that's a that's why it's tough. Right. 
Brogies and Snow donated five bucks. Says, well, I'll be a shit-covered dick. First time I've caught you all streaming, but I've been a huge fan since season one on IFC. Thanks for being you. Thank you. I'll be a shit-covered dick. I love that line. Uh, what is that from? Well, is that from you? Nail Gun? Pussy, no, it's Pussy Salad. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> it's one of Darren I'll be a shit-covered yeah. dick. So it's two, like, sh- those schlub guys in the background. <laughs> okay. I, uh, all right. Okay. Um, I am <laughs> yeah. sitting here okay. with right. my lovely wife and my very young child. <laughs> that's a good Hello. Sketch. Hello. Oh, yeah, it tastes <laughs> like Hello. <pussy>. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> the character thinks he's like, oh, he's introducing his family to us right now. <laughs> all right. I think I'm. <sighs> all right. Uh, pal- I don't know how I'm going to mess up this name. Palach. Palliacathon? I donated 10 bucks and says, compile the music from the show into an album, put it in iTunes and Spotify, pretty please daddies. Okay, we'll get to it. Um, I like big butts and I cannot lie. Donated three bucks says, I like the group show on Saturdays. Also, if grasshoppers live in grass and bed bugs live in beds, where do cockroaches live? Okay. Uh, Sam Rules and donated 50 bucks said, it would be super awesome if any of you guys could watch a movie with us in Sam's watch parties. Gramp Shoes was great. You had to be there. Yeah. All right. See, see, uh, I, I want to say real fast, that does sound fun because that's like the point, you know, yeah. when it's like this session is about us watching the movie. But on a self suck, I don't want to spend 10 minutes watching. Hey, that. I agree. I agree, Zach. I, when it's when we know it's going to happen, then uh, then it's all good. Um, Scooter Thomas one donated 100 bucks and says to whom oh, I make concern. Thank, love you. Thank you, Scooter. Thank you. That's fucking awesome. Um, awesome. Cummings donated three dollars. Sam rules and donated another 10 bucks. 10 more for Sam's Nat 20 boy. Sparkle Pony donated ten bucks. Says this money's for Timmy to go get some new blinds. Yeah, those those things are fucked up and they've fallen apart. And I just haven't gotten around to it. Uh, all right. And the joke is Coke Fizz says uh, donated ten bucks. Says hi boys. I recently got a gallon of PCP tattoo in honor of Trevor and Celebration of Mars being funded. Mm. I posted a picture Reddit. And it'd be so cool if you guys checked it out. I've been a fan of y'all for like fourteen years. Thank you. I'll do a, another... and I thought that tattoo was awesome. Yes, I saw that too. I, I yeah. want to do. A, I didn't do it for tonight, but I, I got to do a tattoo fan art. All right, just I a keep more forgetting here. Trevor tattoo. Oh yeah, get one or what? Yeah, to get one. Do you know what you're gonna get? I was thinking I'd get a stegosaurus. That's cool. Yeah, I think. I did just get a big, big bucket of jizz. <laughs> yeah, yours, yeah. Yours is oh, on I the love outside it. of the. What? Yours is on the outside of the arm. Yeah. Let's think about getting one right here. Cool. Yeah, I'd probably get one just on the outside of my arm on this arm. Don't have anything there. I was thinking about getting um, one. Yeah, you know I realized this? Sorry, re- before you keep going to me, yeah, just because we're yeah. talking about tattoos. I think I'm in this awkward spot with tattoos now where I like, I have one here and one here, and it's like out of, ba- I, I like now I have to get more. You know what I mean? You like, want to get one on your upper, upper arm above the Trevor tattoo? I just gotta, I gotta get like one here. I just, I have to. Do you have any other I ideas? It like, looks like a, I'm one foot in, one foot out kind of a thing. Do you have Sorry. any ideas? Oh, yeah, I got a lot of fucking big ideas, baby. <laughs> Do you, I'm just going to throw this out mind. there. I'm just going to throw a lot this of out great there. Ideas. Uh, one day, I'm going to die. And, uh, you know, I'm not, if you get a tattoo from me, I'm not going to be able to see that. So you should get a tattoo in honor of me while I'm still alive. What yeah, Zach. What would it be uh, of? Sam's muscles. Sam's muscles. The same you know muscle what? emote. <laughs> I don't say this a lot. I can tell he is not enthused. I, I think I think Sam has a good point. <laughs> I mean, Should get a tattoo of Sam. Well, Sam will die next. We know that that's yeah. the case. Yeah. The marathon is going to kill him. But uh, all right. Oh come on. True. It's going to be like. Uh, Mr. Big from and just like that, I'm gonna die on a Peloton. Is that how they killed him off on that show? He died on a Peloton, and then it came out that he was a uh, uh, a bad person. Yeah, the actor was like a bad guy, right? <laughs> yeah. Oh, what did he do? He was like uh, molesting people, wasn't he? I think he was coming on to people around set, you know. Oh, jeez. That old, that old thing. That old chestnut. <laughs> And they were like, "Whoa!" Set is for set is for <laughs> the male actors to make everyone else uncomfortable. <laughs> yeah. That's the yeah. point. <laughs> uh, um, and then they were nervous. like, "Oh, we're glad we killed that guy." 
Yeah. Wait, so did they kill him off to get him off set, or was that just coincidence? Coincidence, I think. They were wow. going to bring him back. Not that they were gonna like they were gonna have like a, a flashback scene and then they were like, all right, let's like, not do wait, that. Wait, is that show like a magic show? Did I not know they did magic stuff on that show? Uh, oh, guys, um, I gotta go. It's like one forty in the morning here. One forty. Oh god. Aww. All right. Yeah. You wanna, no, hey, you, you guys. Look, you guys are good. There's a little bit of fan art. You want to look at it real quick because there's one there, and if you haven't seen it on the ready, you gotta see it. So let's do that. Oh, real okay. Quick. Uh, I forget how I do sharing on here. It's like annoying, isn't it? Share your screen. Okay. Uh, wait, wait, wait. That's not what I do, right? No, it's... Okay. Um. And then I got to do... We got to do it full screen, right? Or do you have to do that, Sam? I got it, yeah. Okay, cool. All right, so... Uh, I don't know if you guys... Uh, yeah, so, you know... And I always say her name wrong, but Align made the uh, Trevor candle, and now she made ones of all of us. Can you see those? Very cool. Yeah, those are good. That's yeah. awesome. Yeah, those are good. I love them. Um, Timmy, you're making a very interesting face. So that is a shot I just put up on my Instagram. I don't know, last year or something. I had a particularly nasty cough syrup. I had a cold or something, and it was just like, Skip. oh my god. Skip. So I took a shot, a picture of myself taking it. Skip. That was you like a ten-second story. I got. I did it though. I did. What? Sorry, it wasn't 15 minutes about a grandpa. Okay, so... Um, Everyone loved the grandpa. <laughs> anyways, no. and, and she Everyone also made these uh, made some the new, new stickers. Very cool. Yeah. <laughs> I'm off to do some heavy petting with a girl. What is that from the uh, Screamers? It's from Screamers, right? Yeah. yeah. What is... I just realized something about you. Remind me to tell you later. What is no, that from? It's from Screamers. Time Travel Farmer, farmer, right? Oh, maybe that's it. My no, boner's back. That's that's, no, that's screamers. All from screamers. That's screamers. all from screamers. Yeah. Oh, it's all okay. okay. All right. All right. Yeah, yeah. We're old, you guys. It takes a while to remember yeah. these. Things. <laughs> Fuck. Yeah, we're uh, we're a bunch of regular Gramps's here. I know. Yeah, I was just right before stream. I was going off my daughter for Harry Potter's spec. He's the devil <laughs> trap. Um, so we don't get a lot of. I don't think we've ever gotten a, a maybe. Well, we've gotten a few other uh, poems for fan art. So here's a poem. A brief poem. Give me gold, sex, or love. I give no fucks. For no Saturday is complete unless the gang self sucks. Oh, Very oh, nice. Thank you, Erdo, okay. on, on Discord. Um, filled with man. I don't know if I had these up last time or not, because they they put it on Reddit like right I after. I never saw it. Okay. Cool. So, mouthwash, Tennessee sour mass, antiseptic. I like that. That's and awesome. then, I think there's only one more. Uh, this is an absolutely it's terrifying awesome. baked beans painting that Paco Joban put up on uh, Reddit. Just That is jarring. It's, That's yeah. great. <laughs> it's just like, uh, like in a movie when they're like, invest, they find out who the serial killer is, they go into his bedroom, and they find a bunch of like weird shit that he's done. Like, this is yeah. what the painting we have up. I'm not saying Paco's a, a serial killer. It's a, a thank you, Paco, but I'm just saying it's a... It's, uh, yeah. <laughs> it's serial killer adjacent. Yeah. Oh, I have oh, my hand in my pants. That's the too. theme for uh, Trailer Boys tomorrow. It's serial Is it killer. really? Yeah, serial killer. Serial killers? Yeah. Are you going to watch the trailer for The Cell? If someone submits it. All right. Oh, yeah, it's a submission. Uh, All right, I loved how there was no oh. attempt at the neck. No. Yeah. Well, there's just like, no, there's no neck. Well, and but somebody you know was like, there's, they're missing the neck, and you're like, there is no neck. <laughs> I mean, I am not attempted to have a neck most of my adulthood, so why should they paint one? <laughs> I love it. Yeah. Oh. I was it. I got Darren, I got go to bed, I got buddy. Darren, go to bed. Timmy, That's good to see you, Darren. Buddy. Thanks for hanging, man. Of course. Later. Later. Timmy, I got, a, I got a, a fat guy life hack. You want to hear my fat guy life hack? Always. Uh... You know how sometimes, you know, you're a fat guy, you got a gut, right? Yeah, I got one. Uh, you know how sometimes you're sitting down for a long time and your belt buckle just digging into your gut? Yeah. What, what, what is this going to be? What? Yeah, don't Bu get his pants. Buckle, oh, you put it on the side. Okay, I like that. your belt on the side. I've, I've recently developed another solution. I, I, that is a problem. That is a problem that I hate it. But what I've done now is I've just started finding, like, when I get home, and maybe this just makes me more of a grumpy old man than I already am, but I fucking put on pajama pants. I just, like, I get home. Yeah, totally. Uh, just, I, 
Yeah, exactly, man. But and mine are silly though. Of course, they're like brown and have bears and shit all over them. Yeah, you know, I don't. I mine are cool like <laughs> yeah. that. But yeah, another fa- another fat right. guy life hack: diet and exercise. No, tried it. No. <laughs> oh, boom. Oh. You know, I, and I, I'm just at a, I'm at a, at a hard time where I just keep, uh, you know, I, I, I try and then I, uh, I try to lose weight and then I licorice. You know, it's like it's just one of these. <laughs> I love black you licorice. Lose weight and then you what? Licorice. I just love black licorice. I, well, and I just eat bad. I just eat poorly. But one thing I love to snack on is black licorice. Fucking can't get enough of it. It's yeah. weird. It's kind of bad for you. And in, in, if you eat too much black licorice, it does weird shit to your liver. Uh, there's a guy that died from eating too much black licorice, apparently. You know? It's also disgusting. So that's the thing. I like, you know what? My grandpa, like my granddad, my grandpa Jerry loved black licorice, and we buried him with some. Like, there was a drawer built into his coffin, and they put some black licorice and then blackjack gum, which is black licorice-flavored chewing gum, and they put it in there. So Yeah, someone says, don't eat late. That helps. That's the thing. That is absolutely the thing. And that, every time where I... Yeah, eating after like eight or nine for that's that's a bad shit, you know. So why? Because then it it like uh, doesn't. Yeah, well, you know, then you go into bed soon, and it's kind of all sitting in there. And I, I mean, you know, and and also, you know, like if I eat a if I eat badly and like have a kind of bingey snack attack at night, I wake up feeling like shit. If yeah. you could stop eating by like eight or nine, you wake up feeling pretty good and ready to eat, like hungry in a good way. You feel like oh, I actually need food, you know. Uh. My P.O. box is still open. Um, Timmy, someone, uh, Dorcas Horribilis sent, sent you some stuff. Uh, yeah. If anyone oh, wants cool. to send right me apart. or Zach stuff, send it to uh, P.O. box two seven four six four. It's on. It's on. It's on the Discord. Uh, Los Angeles, California nine zero zero two seven. Oh man, you fancy city people have five digit P.O. boxes. Oh, is that how? What's what's your PO box? Mine is three two three two. No, close. <laughs> it's three. It's there's three digits, but it's PO box three twenty six. Oh, uh, someone just oh Nightbot just there. Nightbot has a PO box listing, so Nightbot just oh, put yeah, it up in you, the chat. If you put cool. exclamation point cool. PO box, Nightbot will say that. You know shit. what? Someone give uh, Nightbot a sub. Uh. It is fun to get. Did you did you have fun checking the PO box and getting something in there? It's fun, right? Yeah, you like I, that? Every once in a while, I'll do it. Yeah, I, I think mean, it's, it's nice when it's when it's like it's got stuff. Yeah, my daughter and I got Sometimes a comic book subscription too like, that yeah. goes to the PO box just to have more fun things show up there. Oh, well, that's cool. Somebody <laughs> sent me a shit ton of shrooms a long time ago, though. Uh huh. Um, it's like I'm I'm only saying that because somebody says, "What are we allowed to send?" I'm saying, "You oh. can send anything." Whenever someone messages me about it, I always say no poop, no drugs. Just because I live in a place that don't send me drugs. Like seriously, you know, like, if someone sends you drugs, it's like I don't, you know, man, I don't like this. F- you know, it's like uh, I'm not gonna fuck with that around Maybe here. Are you kidding me? They might wait and see if you pick up the drugs. Oh well, yeah, it's, it's just this place fucking draconian. I don't want, and you know, I'm not gonna do anything with them anyways. Probably, <laughs> you know, but like yeah. I mean, if you want to send me a little bit of poop, you can send me a little poop. Somebody says, have you guys ever drunk Bailey's from a shoe? No, but didn't you guys, didn't Sam, didn't you drink, or Timmy, you had to drink I drank, uh, or, Smirnoff Ice from a shoe. Oh. I Trevor made you drink Smirnoff from a shoe. That's, well, I drank a lot of Smirnoff at that, that party, and I, sure, I probably had to drink, I, I, it, I, I bet the shoe happened. I don't I, remember. I, I th- got, no, no, I think you're mixing oh, stories up, because uh, I had a story when I was a teenager and I was at a skate competition, and some guy was like, I'll give away this pair of shoes if someone will drink chocolate milk out of their own shoe. And I was like, I'll do it. And then he's like, we'll make it a contest. And then there was two other people, and it was like, whoever finishes first wins the shoes. And so I drank chocolate milk out of my shoes, but did not win. Oh my God. But what? He didn't win. People keep saying old Greg. I guess is that a mighty boosh thing to drink out of a shoe? Yeah. Uh, or okay. I don't know, but I mean, yeah. Zach, did you ever send that baked beans Ewok picture to Timmy? I don't even know what, what that is. Oh, I know. Um, it sounds good. 
Oh, the Bailey's thing's an old Greg thing. Oh, okay. No, but it's for it's not for I still have this. I'm such an asshole. Trevor drew this. Trevor drew that? Yeah. Oh yeah, I knew about that. Okay. But it's for James Banda, and I don't know who that how to get that to I'm I'm a I'm a fucking idiot. Oh. Uh if James is watching, just uh James, if you're watching yeah, us. We'll get it figured out. Hit us up, we'll get it to you. I'm sorry, man. Wait, I have a couple of Trevor drawings. So I have that one. I'm such a dick. I have this one for Hippo in a stream. Oh, those from Discord. Okay. Trevor Drew. And I think I have one more. Yeah. Huh. Uh, this one for Dan Glibbery. Is that <laughs> Paddington Assassin? <laughs> yeah. That's, that's did I, beautiful. Did I tell you that's the tattoo? Oh, not that, but the tattoo I want to get. I want to get Prison Paddington. Oh. Uh, he would appreciate that. I forgot that the Discord drawings were like requests, and I got requested to do one, and I did one. Uh, it was C three PO as me. It was they wanted it, me to do myself as C three PO, so I did C three PO with pigtails. Anyway, he's asking, "What's the deal with the Patreon? Like, we're not doing any more Patreon, right?" Well, I mean, the the, the uh, and I don't think they're getting. Or they're yeah, not. I don't think anyone's getting billed still. Yeah, I don't think it's I, happening. Anymore. I worry that somebody has like like these are probably Patreon rewards that Trevor did for yeah. some page these good people and it's i feel terrible that i haven't sent them out yeah. um but yeah it's you know obviously everything got fucked up when he died so I, you know i, I don't know uh, yeah <laughs> i'm sure if one person is like where's my fucking drawing like i know he died but like whatever right right <laughs> I think anyone who was going to donate enough to get drawings from us would also be that insensitive you know what i mean i think they would yeah. it's okay but yeah um, I'm sure they'll be happy whenever they do show up, man. So, um, oh, someone says they got billed in February, so we should look into that. Oh, oh well, we have we can't. That's no good. We have to. St- that's no good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm s- um, really. Who, I think that turned off for a while and they came back. What? Who's in charge of that? How do we? How do we stop people from getting billed? Um, um, you can talk to Nick about it. Yeah, it wasn't anywhere. I mean, but like, yeah, it might be something that we're supposed to do every month, and we okay, we'll figure it out. Yeah, we'll figure that out and and get it all sorted. Should we encourage people to to unsubscribe from our Patreon? I mean, seriously, I I don't know. Well, yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean, yeah. I don't but, want I don't want to be billing people because I don't want to be doing campaign ever. But yeah, yeah. I mean, because yeah, Some, I'm not going to do any more. Triple, uh, triple you know, says their February bill was refunded automatically. OK, so maybe that's happening. OK, OK. All right. Good. All right. Oh, people are saying I got refunded. Check your email. OK, cool. OK, All right. Yeah. What, what else is going on? Uh, should we fit? There's a few more donos I can read through. Yeah. 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 Okay. Read the donos. Uh, where are we at? OK. Um, Principal rolls donated 25 bucks says happy early birthday, Zach. Holden in a fart donated twenty but five or fifteen says love you guys y'all have gotten me through so much shit with these streams appreciate it you've gotten us through too man uh, Trevor's dandruff couch donated five bucks and says did you know you can see an aggregated live stream of porn searches from other sites on pornmd.com all oh, right cool. uh, it's interesting information uh, Zach is actually twenty donated twenty five bucks I would pay to watch this crew play the game not for broadcast. Where you control what is shown on a news channel. I've heard of that game. Okay. Um, oh, that's funny. Andy Mack donated 10 bucks. says, love y'all. Any chance you could do commentary on Walt Whitman, my favorite Zach performance at the moment. That w- That's a funny one. We could do that sometime. Okay. And I, seven, even, dude, I don't even remember that sketch. I just remember like, like boom. The boobs. Yeah, that's what the whole thing. I remember that. <laughs> and the you're funny like, thing. I can't remember if you're the straight man or one of the people that are into it. Um, and then a uh, seventeen, but ju- seventeen, but like just seventeen, donated ten bucks. It says, I-, "I was stoked to see SSS tonight." When I was a- in medic school, we watched "We Got a Runner," and then every whitest kid sketch. Instead of learning, one day many lives have been lost. <laughs> Fuck yeah, dude! Oh, uh, that. Oh, people are keep asking in chat when your movie's coming out, Zach. Any update on that? Actually, we had our our second. So we do these big screenings, like uh, in Long Beach. Um, where they fill it with like 300 strangers and then everyone has to like stay and like fill out all blah, 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 blah. Went great. Um, I think we're looking like I might have big news soon, but I don't have it yet. Like we don't have a plan yet, but I think things are lining up in a good way. So we will see. 
Did, um, did you see that the movie? Was... I, I have to say, I can say this. It's pretty much done. It hasn't been scored yet or color corrected, but I'm really, really proud of it. And it, it's, oh. I think it's great. So, did, it's great. Um, I cannot did you wait. see that email <laughs> I sent you? What's that? Did you see the email I sent you? Yeah, I knew a lot of people sent me that email. Oh, yeah. okay. Um, there's another movie called The Barbarians that's coming out. Oh, but yeah. That's fine. We're, we're always going to change the title yeah. of my movie anyway. So, like, I don't know. Really I, I figured you knew, but, like, you know, just wanted to make yeah. sure. Andy Max says, can I guitar solo over the whole score? I mean, I'm not in charge of this, but I think you should. I think you Wait, should what do like you say? It. Huh? Andy Max says, can I guitar solo over the whole score? For your I mean, <laughs> yeah, I guess, yeah. <laughs> Wait, Ash Tucker says Justin played a clip of learning how to say I farted on the other on the end of his podcast the other day. Yeah, so we learned how to say I social yevam prudnuk means I'm sorry I farted. That was like the first thing I wanted to learn in Bulgaria, and right. I used it all the time. And my producers would be like, Stop, "Don't say that to people." Would <laughs> 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 was you were you? using it appropriately like was it no like- i would be like in line at a restaurant like getting like food from the cashier oh. and they'd be like giving me my money and i'd be like social yavam prudnuk and they would just be like what? i still the the one that day on tour where we were talking about you getting your ass tattooed with wonder boy yeah uh, that i think that would be I, if you got that tattooed that would be an honor of me i, f- I feel like that would okay be there a you go to when me. you die i'll get wonder boy on my ass <laughs> Get it on your ass, or if you want to fill up that spot on your arm, get a tattoo of an ass that says Wonder Boy on it. Right? I actually really like even more. Yeah, that's really funny. Great idea. And then people can see it, and you don't have to get a needle stuck in your ass. Sam, did oh. that hurt getting an ass tattoo? Oh, fuck yeah. Yeah, and you were yeah. wasted though, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Were I was drunk? pretty drunk, but yeah. But it, it still it hurt? It fucking hurt. Yeah, it was, that was one of the worst spots. Zach, there's still so many people in chat asking if you're going to play Elden Ring. You have to, you have to, this is a yeah, situation. I'm going to play Elden Ring. I, I, I've been playing, I played it yesterday a little bit. I played it today a lot. Uh, I'm sorry. I know I should wait for stream, but like, no, I'll, I'll get on this week at some point, definitely, and I'll do it, for sure. I'm, I'm also going to start uh, streaming video games again, and I'm going to, well, I don't know what I'm going to stream on Monday, but uh, at some point I'm going to stream old school doom and doom 2 and then new school doom and doom eternal uh, i just replayed the doom 2016 version the other week god that game is fucking great have, so have, have you gotten any games on your computer yet yeah i got horizon uh, not Hor- what one do i have I, I got a bunch of stuff and there's some stuff that you know the joke with me has always been like i don't play anything that's graphically intense anyways but uh there is a couple new games i got that i'll be playing so was it cool can we can we sam can we talk about elden ring for a minute have you been playing it uh i i've like just started like i've i've like um i've only faced like two bosses and both of them kicked my ass pretty pretty you faced i guess i faced two bosses i I, well i think like where i went like into the fog yeah 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 but they like, um, but both of them. I was like, tried it a little bit, and then was like, all right, fuck this. I'm not going that way. Sure, sure. I, I think it's like, oh, it's ahead. not that hard. I have to say, like, I am, I, I, I'm, I'm a, I'm probably a little better than the average Souls player, but like, I find it like not, not challenging mostly. Like, there's a couple bosses where I'm like, okay, this is clearly above my skill set. Like the dragons, like I can't kill the dragons yet, but like, I'm fully confident I will. But, but. I think they give you a lot of like uh, kind of techniques that weren't available in the previous Souls game that like nerf you. Like the counter attack, like if somebody hits your shield and you hit R2, you like counter hit for free Uh with like a huge, really destructive hit that is like, you know, fucking crazy. And then there's also like you can summon um, like, you know, beasts and ghosts and shit, like phantoms to come fight for you when you want. And that's like, super powerful i don't know there's just a lot of stuff where i was like this is this is too it's helping me too much i think so, so someone asks is this less intense than normal souls games yeah yeah i think it's less intense because you can also jump all over the map at yeah. any point so it's, you're not really ever that trapped is, in a situation that really stuck so, out so to not me. a nerf but that's a buff they're saying that'd be a buff yeah. not a nerf that's, i said the wrong thing yes yeah. buff thank you thank yeah. you yeah uh gamer, gamer, like i'm not pet. saying i don't like it by the way i fucking right. love it like i'm having a blast like i'm gonna play it as soon as we're done like i'm 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 totally in uh, and then Rustin Dendrick says guess what's getting nerfed yeah maybe right. it's like a nerf it in an update 
Yeah, uh, but that sounds like something I would like then, because the thing that turned me off on Dark Souls was that, and whenever I would stream something like Animal Crossing, or a game I'm going to stream soon called Unpacking, where you just fucking move into your apartment, uh, <laughs> people would be like, you should play Dark Souls, and I'd always be like, that's Zach's thing. I can't do the stress of that game. I bought Halo 4 year, back when that came out, played it for a few hours, and got so fucking... Uh, frustrated and like yelling at it, I took it back the same day. And since then, I don't do uh, hard, hard difficulty in games. Nah, you know. But if Elden Ring is a little more chill, then yeah, I'll, I'll check it out. The, I would surprise. Chat, people I saying I haven't had a hard part there was... But like, I beat the fell boss. So as so, I'm in the castle. And it's like it's challenging in there, but it's not like hard. Is that is that not what we're talking about? I also went into the red oh, area oh. where it's all the big birds and the shit like that. Is that? I mean. I, I feel like I'm like getting advanced. I was surprised with how frequent the the like fires were, or what are they in this? They're yeah, like, the the shrine things. Yeah, the yeah, like how how frequently you can like respond and how close you are to stuff. Yeah. Someone the says dream, we... Nick, the dream tiger says skip. All right. <laughs> Someone said Timmy, you played Rayman, which is crazy hard. Yeah, but Rayman's like a silly cartoon game. You know, it's, I don't know. It's got a different vibe to it. And also, people are like, well, you play the new Doom games. Those are hard. Yeah. But I don't know. The new, the new Doom games have that dumb metal guy vibe to it that it is relaxing to me to run around and, you know, rip out eyeballs. So now that uh, Timmy has a computer, we should we should get figure out a game that does like cross play that we can all. That'd be fun. Like I'd be into that. We could do a, a three person gaming night stream or something. I, that'd be dope. What, what What's a good one? I heard War there's zone. this game Elden Ring that. No. Oh, uh, is that one? I mean, I could, I could. Is Elden Ring? I don't, it's just, I don't think it's, it's just cross-play. PlayStation, right? I think it's just, or no, it's, I, it's PC too and Xbox. It's on everything. Yeah, I think it's on everything. Yeah, it's on everything. Well, I turned I on my Xbox earlier and it said you can buy Elden Ring. It doesn't Ring, have so. crossplay. Yeah, it doesn't have crossplay. It's not crossplay. Okay. Back. Oh, the, the forest, dude. Tommy Salami, I'm with you, man. My brother and I are going to play the forest when the, That's the new uh, comes like out. a survival horror game. They were saying the the first forest was awesome. I cannot wait for the second one. Cool. Um, I'm going, yeah, that's another one I'll stream. I got Resident Evil 7 and the new one, which I haven't touched yet, so I'll stream those soon. Resident Evil 7 was great. Uh, I'm, I'm excited to play Village. Um. Cool. Uh, hey, something dudes. funny. Dude, Tim, if you have a new computer, look up porn on the internet. Mm. Ooh. You should try pornography. All right, I'm going to Google the term mom. Pornography. All right, um, guys, this ruled... Any more donos before we hop off? Oh, yeah, let's check it out. Uh, window. I got to You know what else is as much as I can. Oh, you know, we want to do oh. this. We want to do this every other week, right? The self side. Yeah, which we fucked up isn't it been 4 weeks again or something? Yeah, yeah. We but uh it, in the off weeks I might try and do watch parties and stuff and I'll keep you and guys get more in on that stuff and if you feel like that's totally yeah. a thing where if you feel like dropping in at some point That'd yeah, be great. Yeah. I'm gonna, yeah. yeah, and you know, I'll start doing the video games again. Sam, I'm gonna do your idea for a theme Zucchini Boys, <laughs> if not this show, then the next one. But oh, I'm doing awesome. One Did I tell? I sh I sent you the recipes, right? That I found. Uh, I think I did. Oh yeah, yeah. I'm gonna keep it a secret for now, just because it's a really fun idea. So. All right, everybody. Right, Thanks, guys. Elden Ring. All See right, you guys. later, dudes. Bye, everybody in chat. Later, Miss you guys. Right. Glad to be back. And oh. I will be doing. I will be doing Elden Elden Ring this this week at some point oh. during the day. I get on. Oh, and day. Zach, you can go ahead, but I'm gonna read these last few donuts. Oh, okay. rock yeah. So uh, what do we get? Okay, Doctor Fun MD donated five bucks. Says I'm not Vladimir Putin, but you're all very wrong about Ukraine. Here's the situation: Russia has a right to be in total of the day, and then you can get a lot of the shower, and I cannot be able. <laughs> That's a good one. Uh, Directionality d donated thirty bucks. Says take my Patreon money. And Neon three hundred and twenty donated six dollars and ninety cents. Says love all you guys, but especially Zach Blood Trail. All right. That's uh, everything I got. Zach Blood Trail. Maybe that has to do with the. Uh, maybe their name is Blood Trail in uh, something. I don't know. Oh, okay. And that's my guess. That's just me guessing. Oh, uh, who should we raid? What do you got? What do you no want to raid, pal? I don't want to raid anyone. I'm gonna stay on, and I'm. Oh no, yeah, you're no, gonna play. Gonna you're gonna play on. a video game. Yeah, people are like, oh, raid, raid. No, we're not raiding. We're staying. No, on. that's right. Sam's gonna play Elden Ring. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go Elden eat some Ring. leftover pizza.
Uh, yeah, guys. It'll take me a second to... to... Rosalind Danklin says raid Sam. <laughs> yeah, we're going to raid me on this channel. Uh... Raid me. Yeah. Um, Someone's and... done that before, right? Someone's done that before. I've... I think you just broke the internet, Timmy. Uh, 